Slam that like button if you love cookies. In this video. Hey guys, there's a lot of dishes to do over here. Would anyone like to help me? Sorry, honey, but this awesome show is on and it's <laughs> super funny. Hey, we were supposed to watch that together as a family. Oh. <laughs> no need to cry, mom. Just make breakfast for us, please. Yeah, honey, we're starving. That's it. I have had enough. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm not feeling so good. <gasps> what? Honey, are you okay? Oh, no. Who's going to make us breakfast? You'll have to make them breakfast. But I always burn the toast in the toaster. So, honey, what were the results? What happened? Well, I went into the bathroom and took a test and, well, yes, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is actually amazing news. I'm going to be dead again. Hey, guys, there's a lot of dishes to do over here. Would anyone like to help me? But please? Sorry, honey, but this awesome show is on and it's <laughs> super funny. Hey, we were supposed to watch that together as a family. Well, Mom, it turns on at exactly 7 o'clock. And you're still doing dishes, so sorry you have to miss out. Ooh. Mm, annoying. Oh, I finally got baby Kira down for the night. Now I can get some vacuuming done. Um, girls, would you mind picking up all of your stuff? Uh, Mom, uh, we're eating a snack right now. Correction, Molly, you're eating a giant snack. Molly? Wow. Uh, that was the ham that I was going to use for tomorrow night's dinner. Sorry, Mom, it looked like it'd make a delicious sandwich. <laughs> Boy, was I right. Okay, well, the show is off now. Maybe you guys can help me pick up a little bit, you know, after you eat that giant sandwich, Molly. I'm kind of feeling hungry for a sandwich, too. Would you make me one, honey? Ugh. <laughs> Uh, please, I'm so hungry. Me too! You guys hardly ate any of your dinner. That's because, well, um, it was kind of... What she he's trying to say is, bleh, it was gross. Yeah. Oh, Molly, I wasn't going to say it that way. Fine, I'll make you all snacks since my dinner was so gross. Are you guys happy now? This popcorn's delicious. Mm. Dad and I are eating sandwiches that are bigger than us. I see that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's so good with the mustard. Mm. Oh no, baby Kira woke up again. Honey, is baby Kira okay? Yeah, she just needs another bottle. Wow, that kid is an eating machine. Yeah, she must be having a growth spurt. Finally, the kids are in bed, so now I can play some video games. Video games? Ugh, I don't get to have that downtime. Why not? You just have to take it. Yeah, apparently. But I don't have time to take it. I didn't get the chance to mow the grass today. You're gonna mow the grass at 9 o'clock at night? I don't see where I have a choice. Everything has to get done. Adulting. Uh, this has been the longest day of my life. Uh, is that the sun coming up? Did I mow the grass all night long? Oh my gosh. Today is going to be now the longest day ever. Ooh. Hey, there you are. Mom, we're just waiting for breakfast. Um, You're five minutes late. What? I was up all night doing chores and mowing the grass and, and, and now you want breakfast? Uh, but yeah, you are mom. Uh, of course we do. Oh. <laughs> no need to cry, mom. Just make breakfast for us, please. Yeah, honey, we're starving. That's it. I have had enough. Oh, I'm so sorry, but... I'm not feeling so good. <gasps> what? Honey, are you okay? Uh-oh! No. I have to go sit on the couch. Oh. Oh, no. Who's going to make us breakfast? You'll have to make them breakfast. But I always burn the toast in the toaster. Sorry, honey, but I think um, I need to run to the bathroom. Mom? Oh, that was the garage. Oh, what am I doing? 
Where's my bathroom? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna fake throwing up. Here we go. Blah! 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 Yeah. Honey, are you throwing up? Now, I have to grab some pillows off of the bed. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> never know. Honey, are you okay? I'm just not feeling well. I'm gonna lay in bed. Honey, are, are you feeling okay? Do you have the stomach bug? It's it's the morning. You're, you're supposed to be getting up now. I know. I just don't feel well. I feel like I did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. <gasps> Wait, what? What's that bump underneath the blankets? Honey, can you get out of bed for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Honey, why are you laying in bed? It's almost time for, for work. I, I, uh, uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> you're really struggling today, even more than me. Uh, are you okay? Oh, he's planking. Um, yeah, uh, honey, you're taking a nap when you're not in bed. I think you might be, well, freaking out. Yeah, y you look pregnant. Oh, well, maybe I should take a test. So, honey? What were the results? What happened? Well, I went into the bathroom and took a test and, well, yes, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is actually amazing news. I'm going to be a dad again. Ah! You sure are. Wait, what? <gasps> Another baby? I hope it's a boy this time. What are you girls eating for breakfast? Hot dogs. It's all dad could make. What? All you have to do is put the hot dog in the microwave. It's breakfast, okay? La 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 gonna be a dad. Oh yeah, gonna be a dad again. Oh yeah, gonna be a dad. Wait a minute, diapers? So many diapers? I don't think about that. I'm gonna be a dad again. Gonna be a dad. Well, now that I'm pregnant, obviously I can't do all this work around here. Wait, what? <gasps> what? What? That's right. You guys are gonna have to do all the cooking, all the cleaning. I'm just gonna have to sit here and rest. But honey, but, but no buts. Pregnant mom needs to rest. Gotta take good care of baby. Okay, we'll try our best to do everything around here, right, girls? Well, we'll try. Uh oh. Wow, this is a ton of work. I know. Tell me about it. Look at all these dishes. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Honey, um, can I wash these white? Socks with this uh red shirt? No, absolutely not. Didn't you ever learn how to do laundry? Not really. First my mom did my laundry, and then you. Well, and now's the perfect time to figure it out. Mom, I'm making the grocery list. Is there anything you would like? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'd like some chocolate ice cream. I would like some peanut butter cupcakes. Wow. I would like some chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, can't tell you're pregnant or anything. <laughs> Gonna put on about 100 pounds this time, huh? What? I will not. Oh, whoops, wrong thing to say. Gotta take the trash out, bye. Who locked the door? I gotta get out of here. My wife's gonna, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Mom, um, so what else do you need for the groceries? Ah, uh, just those things. Surprise me with the rest. <laughs> been like nine months since I faked my pregnancy. I guess I better stick some more pillows in there so it looks more accurate. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Honey, I'm home from work. Where are you? Oh, I was just in here taking a nap, you know, resting for the baby. Whoa, there you are. Oh my God. What's going on with your stomach? What do you mean? <laughs> you know I'm in my final trimester. Honey, I think you might be having twins or maybe an alien. That's a giant stomach. Oh, I just want to touch the babies inside your tummy. No, 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 no. No touching my tummy. <laughs> the babies won't like that. Babies? Do you know something that I don't? Yes, honey. I went to the doctor today. I'm having twins. Ah! Oh, my God. I know, honey. Don't freak out too much. Come on, let's go have dinner. Mm. This light bulb needs changing. It's so 
still doing dishes nine months later. Uh -oh. Everybody, you're eating off of paper plates from now on. Holy macaroni and cheese. Look at the baby bump. Oh, my God. Mom, you're going to have like five babies in there. Maybe they're puppies. <laughs> Daisy, mom can't have puppies. Well, that's what they look like when a mom and dog's gonna have like 15 babies. Okay, okay, quit teasing your mom about her big fat tummy. What? No, it's the all baby. It's all baby. Okay, let's have dinner, everybody. Uh, Dad, are you making us dinner? Yeah, Dad, are you making us dinner? Oh, no, not again. Oh, I don't seem to fit between the chair and the and the table. <laughs> My baby bump is squished. Be careful, honey. If you slam their heads up against the table, you might give them brain damage. You better sit on the couch. Okay. Here you go, honey. A nice, nutritious meal for the babies. I even put some cookies on there. Ooh, watermelon. My favorite. <laughs> These pillows in my shirt are so uncomfortable. Ugh, and I shouldn't have eaten so many Oreos for dessert. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Oh, honey, did, did you say your stomach really hurt? No, no, honey, go back to sleep. I'm fine. No, honey, I can't go back to sleep. It's been nine months and your stomach hurts. You know what this means. Come on, we have to go to the hospital. I didn't think about this part where I'd have to go to the hospital and actually have the babies. What are you talking about? Of course you're going to have to have our twins. <laughs> That's why you've been sitting around for nine months. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, sure. L let's go. Oh, I can't get up. The babies are too heavy. I'll just have to stay here. Honey, seriously, get out of bed. We have to go. Come on, honey. Sit down in this wheelchair. I don't think I need that. I'm feeling fine. It was probably just a fart. <laughs> no, it's not a fart. The babies are coming. Come on. We have to get you inside. Ooh, I can barely move this wheelchair. You've put on a lot of weight with this pregnancy. What? No, no, I haven't. Honey, look at your tummy. Of course you have. Get out of the way. Pregnant woman on board. Twin babies. Honey, I think that I'm just fine. Like, I uh, I don't think that I'm pregnant anymore. Honey, you're so pregnant you don't even fit into the elevator. I don't think so. What? The, no, I, I think it just might have all been gas. For nine months and your stomach looking like that? I don't think so. You're having these babies, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Who's this kid? Are you an intern? No, I'm your doctor. Wow. Now, what seems to be the issue? What do you mean, what seems to be the issue? Can you not look at her stomach? She's about to have babies. Okay, miss, no jumping around. Where are you going? <gasps> I don't think I need to have babies anymore. She's lost her mind. The babies are made her crazy or something. <laughs> Honey, get in here. You have to go into the labor room. Oh, God. How am I going to get out of this now? I mean, oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm not actually pregnant. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to examine your tummy a little bit. Please hold still, Miss Acker. Oh, your stomach feels very funny. Let me give it a little push here. <laughs> a little pregnancy gas, I see. See? I, I don't need to have a baby. I just had to fart. That's all. Honey, quit being so ridiculous. You're going to have twins. It's going to be okay. You've had, you've had, you know, other kids. You're going to be fine. Hmm. Your tummy seems very peculiar. Um, uh, Mr. Acker, would you go get some coffee, please? It's going to be a pretty long night, I think. Are you going to be okay, honey? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> the doctor will take good care of me. Okay, now that he's gone, spill. Ow! I can see that there's just pillows stuffed up your shirt. Well, um, um, let me guess. He overworks you at home and your kids don't help or pitch in. Yeah? How did you know? I see this with women at least three times a week. <laughs> now... I'm just going to tell your husband that it was a giant gas bubble that's been trapped in your stomach for nine months. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll just emphasize that he doesn't have to change any dirty diapers. Oh, thank you. You're the best doctor ever. Honey, did you have the baby while I was out getting coffee? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the baby? 
Um, Mr. Acker, we need to have a conversation. Oh. Well, what? Did, wait, why is that cat in here? Did you give birth to a cat? What? Honey, have you lost your mind? Of course I didn't give birth to a cat. Oh, it's an angry cat. Kind of glad it's not our kid. Mr. Acker, your wife had a serious case of gas bubble. <gasps> Wait, what? Where, where's my twin babies? There are no twin babies, honey. I just really had to fart. Wait, what? But, 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 cute little names. I picked them all. Well, Mr. Acker, just think about it. No dirty diapers, no added expenses. This is going to save you so much time and money that it was just a fart. Honey, that was a big fart. <coughs> I mean, <laughs> you could have just taken some gas X at any point in the nine months. Mr. Acker, I think your wife mm, probably got intense bouts of gas because she was forced to do all the work at home. That would give anybody indigestion. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I, I didn't think about it like that. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. You can make it up to me by getting me some flowers, getting me some DoorDash, and starting to help more around the house. Don't worry, honey. I will. But do you still want to have twins? Um, we'll think about it. Thanks, doctor. You're a real lifesaver. <laughs> this video is hilarious. Uh-oh. Gotta go potty. <laughs> oh, um, gee, I just dropped my phone in the toilet and now it's ruined. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa, Molly, what's wrong with you? I got a new monkey. I love my monkey toy. No one cares about the monkey. Whoa, Molly, rude. That's your baby sister you're talking to. Try to be nice. Sorry, I'm just having a really bad moment. What is it, Molly? What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> you made your phone swim in the toilet? <laughs> it's not funny, Daisy. My phone is ruined. I could get you out of my monkey and give you a hug. You feel better. I don't want your monkey to feel better. I want my phone. I was right in the middle of watching this super funny video. Well, uh, sorry, Molly, but I don't have any money you can borrow for a new phone. I'm going to ask Mom if she'll give me money. <laughs> yeah, right. She already bought you a new phone. I know, but I've got to try. Oh, hi, Molly. I'm just making the grocery list. Is there anything special you'd like from the grocery store? Now that you mentioned it, I'd like some Pop-Tarts, some chocolate ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream cones. Um, some chocolate bars. Ooh, the cupcakes that have like the fudge in the center and Molly. No, not a bunch of junk food. Oh, okay. I guess this day is just getting worse and worse and worse. What's wrong, Molly? You can talk to me about anything. Mom. I know you just bought me a new phone because I dropped the other one in the parking lot at school and it smashed it, but I um, had another little accident with my new phone. Wait, what? Don't tell me that you ruined your new phone. Well, I was watching this video and I know you said don't take it into the bathroom because I'm clumsy and I'm probably gonna, you know, drop it in the toilet and well, exactly what you said would happen. Happened! Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Yeah, kind of funny, right? Daisy laughed. No, not funny. Did it ruin it? Um, yeah, and I was hoping. Would you give me some, some, some more money, Mom? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and Dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Uh-oh. What? What am I going to do with it out of phone? Read a book? Play outside? Um, count cheap? I don't know. Mom, that's what you do when you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas then. Nobody knows the trouble I'm in. Nobody knows how sad I am. Told you, Molly, she wasn't going to go for it. Girls, I need you to go up and clean your rooms, please. Seriously? 
Could this day get any worse? Baby Kira and I are going to head out to the grocery store. Are you ready, Baby Kira? I want to be my monkey, kid, Mom. Okay, honey. Let's go. <laughs> Can't stop crying. How will I Snapchat? How will I play Roblox? How <laughs> will I text Brookie? How will I call to order DoorDash? Worst day ever. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Daisy, could you stop being so happy around me? Sorry, it's just my nature. My name is Daisy. Daisy, stop singing that song. It's driving me crazy. Whoa, you are so grumpy and rude right now, Molly. I'm just doing my chores and trying to keep a happy outlook on life. Well, there's nothing happy. I broke my phone. I sunk it to the bottom of the toilet ocean. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't supposed to not laugh there because it's not funny, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Sorry, toilet ocean. Your, your phone was like a, a sinking ship. <laughs> Daisy, my life is over. Marty, it's just a phone. Go out and live your life if you need to. I can't. My phone to Snapchat, DoorDash, texting, looking at funny videos, Roblox. Oh, Marty. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get a job. A job? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Jobs are worse than homework, I bet. Yeah, there's someone bossing you around, and you have to do what they say, but basically you get money for it, so I guess it's better than homework in that way. Oh, I think I might be way too lazy for that. I'm going to go make myself feel better by eating a cookie. Well, at least I still have you, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Friends for life. Mm. Delicious. Oh, I guess I'll just go watch some TV. Hey, What's that over there? It's, it's money! And loads of it! Holy guacamole, it's $500! <laughs> well, I guess the hands of fate have spoken. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Daisy, I'll see you later, I'm going to town. Gonna take a nice little walk. Uh-oh! Mom, can I have a chocolate bar? Well, I don't know, honey. The budget's kind of tight this week. I really want something delicious. I'll tell you what. If you're a good girl while we're in the store, I'll buy you a chocolate bar and we can split it, okay? Okay. I love it. I want the chocolate kind with your peanut butter. Oh, Reese Cups. Good choice, baby Kira. I love it. I love it. Hi, welcome to Sunshine Market. Are you having a good day today? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> I mean, I could afford all my groceries, which is surprising because it seems like they keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been complaining about that recently. Okay, let me just load up your cart for you. Okay, that will be $495.98. Wow, I kept it under $500 for our whole huge family? Ah, that's awesome. And that's for two weeks of groceries. Okay, where's my money? It was right here in my pocket. Um, do you have the money to pay? I don't know what happened to the money. It was right here in my pocket. And, and, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll have to pay with my, my credit card. <laughs> I've been trying to just use cash, you know, that way I don't spend more than I have, but... Um, I guess I'll just use my credit card and try to find the money later. Well, you need to have groceries, so I guess you will. <laughs> Hopefully you find your money, though. I'm so happy right now, because I got a new phone. <laughs> best day ever. It used to be the worst day, but now it's the best one. I have no idea where that grocery money went, except for the fact that I have, well, a little bit of a hole in my pocket, and... I think that it fell out the bottom of my pocket. Oh, no. I'm okay, Mama. Everything can be okay. Oh, where am I going to get $500 to pay off the credit card bill? Oh, it's got to be around here somewhere. I just know it. Mom, what exactly are you doing? Did you lose one of your contacts again? 
No, I just, I lost this money and... Whoa, you did? I took two of Mama I help. I have Mama I help. What's everyone doing? Are we pretending we're dogs? I can play this game too. Woof, woof, woof. No, Mama lost all her money. What? What did you say? I can't understand you. You're talking baby talk. She's saying that Mom lost her money. She has a little hole in her pants pocket, and the money fell right out. Wait, what? You you lost money? H how much? Five hundred dollars. It was the money I was taking for the groceries. <laughs> well, you should be real more careful with your money, Mom. You shouldn't just leave it laying around. What? What are you talking about? Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now or else. Um, uh, uh, uh. It was, it was Daisy! What? What? I, I, I. Daisy, you are grounded for a month. But I, I, I. I can't even believe this, Daisy. Maybe from Molly, because she's sometimes naughty, but not you. I don't know what to say. I'm, I, 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 uh. Uh-oh. Well, Molly, thank you for telling me the truth about that. Um, you're, you're welcome. <sighs> so disappointed in Daisy. Obviously, if there's money just laying on the floor inside her house, it belongs to somebody. Why would she think she could just take it? Um, because she didn't realize that it belonged to you? Well, it belonged to somebody. People don't just leave $500 laying around, do they? I don't know. Maybe the universe just wanted you to have it. Molly, quit trying to make excuses for Daisy. It was wrong of her to not try to find the owner of the $500. Yeah, so wrong. I found the money. Well, no, baby Kara. Uh, we already found the money and Daisy has it. I wonder what she spent it on. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Baby Kara, what are you eating? I found this hot dog under the couch. Oh, honey, that's super old. We ate hot dogs like a month ago. Where did that come from? Ew. Oh, nobody cleaned under the couch. Ew, stop eating that, baby Kara. That's gross. Stop it. Hey, mine. I eat it if I want. Oh, gross. My life is over. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't actually take the money. I just got accused of taking the money. I was so upset and emotional. I didn't think about this, well, with my brain. And the truth of it is, I just got framed. I was too busy crying and sad and upset that mom thought I did something wrong. I forgot about the fact that I didn't actually do something wrong. And now I'm going to find out who did? <laughs> this video is hilarious. <laughs> Daisy, I'm on the toilet. What are you doing? Molly, where did you get that new phone? New phone? What new phone? Uh oh Molly, you found the $500 on the floor, and you bought a new phone with it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't have a phone. I'm innocent! Molly, you framed me, and you got me in so much trouble with Mom. That's it. I'm telling. Mom! What? No, Daisy, you tattletale. Don't you dare. Okay, what am I going to do with this new phone? i got to hide the evidence. Oh, I can't flush it down the toilet. It's too beautiful. Don't even think about it. Daisy, you'll pay for this. Um, why are we hanging out in the bathroom, girls? Did the toilet plug again? Molly, you really need to eat less bean burritos. She flamed me. What? Well, her picture is pretty nice from school, but I didn't know you had a frame to put it in. No, Mom! Framed as in, she made me guilty when she was guilty. What? No, it was Daisy. She took the $500. She bought a new phone. Check her pockets. Daisy! What? Molly, show me your pockets. Um... Molly! <gasps> uh, Molly, you are... Grounded. I'm sorry. I didn't know the $500 belonged to, to you, Mom. Well, who did you think it belonged to? Maybe Daisy. 
Yes. Well, did you think Daisy would want you to steal her money? Well, I figured finders, keepers, losers, <laughs> weepers. Molly, not in this house. Not in this house. I'm sorry, Daisy, that I accused you. Well, it was actually Molly. You were just doing your mom duties. <sighs> Molly, you are grounded for the next two weeks. And I'm going to expect you to do chores to earn that money back. Can I keep the phone? Not. Well, I don't know what to do about that, but you're grounded from it for at least two weeks. And I can't believe... Wait, did you just have the phone next to the toilet again? Uh, she did. No, you're grounded from the phone for at least a month until you can pay me back for it. Ugh. This turned back into the worst day ever again. Ugh. Oh, man. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Excuse me, Cece. Excuse me, Kendra. That's my locker you're standing in front of. I need to get my book so that I'm not late for class. Uh, is someone actually talking to us, Kendra? Nah, it was just an annoying fly buzzing around. What? No, no, it was me. Excuse me. Move. You don't tell the baddies to move. You wait till we're done. Oh, um... Gee! Oh, okay, I'll just try to squeeze by you then. Oh, that loser touched me. Well, if you'd move out of the way, um, you guys might want to move out of the way, though, because when I open my locker door, it's totally going to hit you in the head. What? This girl is so annoying. Come on, Kendra. Let's go check out our hair in the bathroom mirror. Yeah, totally. Ugh, the baddies at my school are, well, super Super bad! Whoa, my new school! Hopefully everybody likes me. <laughs> Come on, locker, open! Ugh. Come on. Okay, there we go, finally. This locker's been broken since the day they assigned it to me. Oh, hi! Are you a new student? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I am, and I'm not really sure where my locker is. It's number 122. Oh, that locker's right next to mine. Hopefully yours actually opens. Seriously? Will I have a locker that isn't open? That happened at my old school and like literally it made me so scared and nervous every day that I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff out of it. Yeah, that's how I was at the beginning of the school year, but don't sweat it. I kind of know a trick to get it open. Watch this. Um, are you supposed to be beating up the locker? Trust me, these lockers are really old. They deserve it. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> they just never work. They're, they're very naughty lockers. Open already. My name's Molly. Um, if you want, you can be friends with me. I can tell you who the baddies are in our school and who the bullies are and who the nice ones are and... Oh, thanks. You sound really nice, Molly. My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's your first class? Um, according to my paper, it says math. Me too. This teacher's kind of a snore. But don't worry, I'll be sitting next to you, so I'll make you laugh. Thanks, Molly. Sounds like we're going to be really good friends. I was really nervous that people wouldn't like me here, or they'd make fun of my braces or glasses, or, or the fact that I like this shirt and stuff. Nah, look at my shirt. I've got a unicorn on it. Unicorns are awesome. <laughs> you really are funny. Come on, Alex, we don't want to be late. Yo, Cece. Who's that loser sitting by the other loser? Excuse me, um, my name is not loser. It's Miss Loser. Turn around. Your breath smells like a rotten egg. What? No, it doesn't. I used mouthwash this morning. Okay, well, your face is really annoying me. Um, uh, how can I have an annoying face? You just do. Sit down, loser. Wow, the baddie club is, well, very mean. I noticed. I hope they don't see me and pick on me. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll bully you, but you get used to it. I know, right? That's what I said. I really like him. I hope he asks me to the dance. Okay, class. Okay. Phone's away. Uh, You two in the back. You get rid of your coffee. You get rid of your cell phone. Or you can meet me in detention. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you later. My teacher is so annoying. I heard that. Psst. Hey, you, dork. 
Are they talking to me, Molly? Um, I'm afraid so, Alex. Yeah, you dork. Meet me at my locker at the end of this class. I want to see if you're baddie material. Sounds like they want to put you in their club. Wow, it's very elite. I know I can't be in it. Really? Wow, I get to be in the baddie club? That's amazing. Brittany, where were you? Sorry, Cece. I um was late for school because I overslept and... Uh, you weren't there in math class, and we have to see if this new girl is, well, <laughs> batty club material. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Is she really material or not? <laughs> Wait till you see her. <laughs> You're going to have a blast with this one, Brittany. Uh-oh! I can't believe this girl is actually making us wait. What's her problem? Yeah, she doesn't make the baddie club wait. Who's that dork? That is the person we might be putting in the baddie club. <laughs> you are hilarious, Kendra and Cece. <laughs> this girl be a part of the baddie club? Hi, I'm Alex. I'm new here. <laughs> and I'm only going to have braces for like two years, so please don't tease me about them. I want to have perfect smile and... My dentist said I needed them and I need these glasses, but at some point I'm going to get contacts and I swear I'm much cooler than I look. I'm really nice. Uh-oh. Seriously, girls, this is almost too easy. Well, take it away then, Brittany. You are a loser. You could never be a baddie like us. Our club is very exclusive for the prettiest and baddest girls at Brookhaven High. What? Oh, I, I thought you wanted me to be in your club. <laughs> you could never be in our club, loser. Mm. Mm, I'm sure I can fit just one more slice in. Mm. This school pizza, it's delicious. Wow. Uh-oh, why did I try to put that extra piece of pizza in? Oh. embarrassing. <laughs> I know, my farts are kind of smelly, but um, you don't have to cry about it. You can just leave. No, it's that <laughs> the baddie club didn't want me to be in their group. Huh, what? They, they said I was a loser. That's not very nice of them, but I guess I should have expected that. They're so rude. Don't listen to them, Alex. You're so nice. Don't listen to who. <gasps> Look at it, it's the new loser. Oh, she's so ugly and she's a loser. Hey, rude. You're a loser too, get out of here. Alex, don't listen to them. I'm a loser, I knew it. Ugh. I have to help my new friend. I just have to. Well, 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 you decided to come back another day to have the baddies tell you you're a loser again? Oh, I'm sure it's yesterday. Gross. Are you poor? Do you even have any money? I mean, how many outfits do you have? One. Well, I just really like this shirt, so I got two of them for Christmas because I love them so much. Oh, this girl is such a loser, Kendra. <laughs> Not as big of a loser as I am. What? Who is that? Oh, look at their face. They're such a nerd, a dork, a loser. Molly, is that you? Who's Molly? <laughs> I'm Leonard. <laughs> um, well, Leonard, you are the ugliest dork I've ever seen. Molly, what are you doing? Trust me, I'm just taking the attention away from you. Go be yourself. Molly, thank you. No problem. Now, let me have your worst. I can take it. Loser, ugly, four eyes. Oh, you smell smelly. Oh, this is a hard job to have. Do you think you're the first bully I've ever come across? <laughs> I don't think so. 
I've been getting bullied since preschool, so nothing you say can bother me. I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. What are you in preschool? <laughs> really? Maybe. Smell this! Uh oh! <laughs> Oh, gross, you little brat! <laughs> Molly, you didn't have to do that for me. That's what friends are for, and honestly, they don't really bother me that much, Alex. They're just rude. And I think that they just, I don't know, think that they could feel better about themselves by being mean to other people. But it really just shows that they have really cold and cruel hearts. You never, ever want to be a part of the baddies club. They're just rude villains. Well, thank you for being such a good friend to me. I mean, seriously. I didn't know what to do when I had to come to a new school. I was really scared, and well, you've been a really good friend. Hey, no problem. I have another idea, too. What, eat pizza you pulled out of your pocket? Ew. <laughs> I'm saving that for later, because it was so good at lunch today. Mm. Want some? Uh, no. I'm okay. I don't eat any pizza that was stuffed in your pocket all day. Ew. Yeah. A little bit of the cheese stuck to my leg, but you know, I don't care. Um, Molly, what are you doing? I'm texting, uh, Cece. What? What? She's a part of the baddie club. Uh, why are you texting her? Because <laughs> I'm pretending to be her crush, Lucas. <gasps> Molly. Hey, she can be a baddie. So can't I. <laughs> Meet me here in 15 minutes. Perfect. Now, what I need you to do is go over there and hide behind that tree and Snapchat this. Really, Molly? Are you sure about this? <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life. Ooh. I'm all ready to Snapchat, Molly. Great. Today at lunch, I heard Lucas and his friends say they were going to play basketball at the park today. <laughs> Perfect. Lucas, hi. You wanted to meet me and talk to me? Huh? What? Who, who are you? Oh, very funny. I'm the leader of the baddie club. Cece, duh. <laughs> you going to ask me to dance? Huh? You don't have to be afraid. Of course I'd go with you. What are you talking about? I don't want to go to the dance with you. I don't even know you. Uh-oh! There you are, Pookie Snooky Wookie Pookie. I, I was looking for you everywhere, honey. Who's this? <gasps> is this your boyfriend? <laughs> what? No, this is just some dork from school. I don't know them. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cece. We've been dating for six months. Ah! <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, sweetie. Let's look cute for the camera. Oh, my God. I'm mortified. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I got it, Molly. I Snapchatted that. <laughs> Looks like she's not the only baddie in town. Oh, Molly, you can be the leader of the baddies if you really wanted to. Nah, I don't really need to be bad. But it sure felt good to give her a taste of her own medicine for a change. I'm glad she's not going to bully you anymore. Pretty sure she is going to be hiding in her bedroom for at least a month. Thanks, Molly, for sticking up for me. No problem, Alex. <laughs> ah, baddies club look out there's a new baddie in town now uh oh <laughs> can't believe it! It's my first day of kindergarten! OMG! This is gonna be so cool! Well, I think so. I I've never been to kindergarten before. Okay, I just gotta brush my teeth. Wait a minute. I can't reach the sink! How am I gonna go to school now? I I'm too short! I can't go to school with stinky breath! Buddy, what are you doing? Hurry up! We have to go! I can't go to kindergarten! What? We have to go! I'm gonna be late to school and... I want to start off with my amazing career on the white foot. Uh, but but I can't go. Why? Because I can't reach the sink to brush my teeth. Well, you'll have to skip it, Molly. I don't want to 
skip it. I have stinky breath. Well, you can say that again. P.U., your breath does stink. Okay, I have an idea. I'll, um, I'll crouch down and you can jump on me to get on the sink. Are you sure, Daisy? Absolutely, Molly. Try it. Uh, 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 wait, I made it! Awesome! Now brush your teeth and hurry up. We have to go. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Oh, there it is. La, 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 la. Molly, how can I start my career as a rocket scientist if you don't get to school on time? <laughs> that reminds me of um when we first started daycare, remember? Yeah, I think you made us late that day, too. What? No, I didn't. I think I did a bag at the bar. I'll do it again. He's not happy about coming to take you. I want my mommy. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Your mommy will come back. I know it. What if our mommy doesn't come back, Daisy? She left us here too. <laughs> Molly, it's gonna be okay. I promise. Don't cry. Mom will be back soon. Hello. <laughs> Would you guys like to come over and play in the circle? We're gonna read books and stuff. <laughs> Molly, why are you crying again? I have a dirty diaper! Oh my goodness, Molly, that's horrible! Well, maybe one of these nice people would change your diaper. I don't want I want everybody to be my friend! Molly, that's not a good way to start your new um career at daycare. Well, hello there, little girl. Why don't you come over here? We're just gonna have lots of fun. We're gonna play games and we're gonna have snacks. Where are you going with my sister? Come back here. That's my sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I got a new diaper. Why do I got a new diaper? I'm a poo poo. No one changed my diaper. <laughs> Molly, are you laughing or crying? Crying. And I'm laughing. <laughs> I don't know. Molly can't make up her mind if she's happy or sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You dropped me! I get to take her care of one star. I gave her one star too. He dropped me. I want my mommy. Don't worry. Stop crying. Seriously, your mommy will come back eventually. Ah. Mommy, let's go play with toys. Okay, go play with toys. Ooh, you a stinky diaper. I know! No one changed my diaper! Woo! Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi! Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy we went to daycare. I know, it was kind of fun though, right? Um, yeah, once we got used to going. I bet that's exactly how kindergarten's gonna be. Yeah. Probably. I think we'll eventually like it, but maybe the first day will be a little scary and a little different. True. Well, we better get going. The school bus is here. Yeah, let's go. Hello, class, and welcome to kindergarten. I'm so glad you're all here today. I know you're going to do awesome on your journey through school. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, Molly. I'm Mrs. Smith. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Oh, this is so lame. Why am I even at school to learn so you can be super smart and get any kind of job you want or start a business or something when you get older it's a really your choice but you need a good education that's what my mom and dad say whatever this is so boring Okay, well, I'd like everyone to split into groups, please. And um, we're going to practice our ABCs. Can you believe this, Mr. Monkey? It's our first day of kindergarten. We're going to learn our alphabet. Why do you still have a, that stuffed animal? Stuffed animals are for babies. Um, Because I'm still little, so I have a stuffed animal. If you're a grown-up, you use a laptop like me. Uh, but I'm not a grown-up. I'm still a kid. Well, I just think you're a loser. Wait, what? You're a loser. Huh? What? Why would you say that? And I don't like your monkey. He's ugly. <laughs> Molly, is everything okay over there? She's just crying like a big baby. Sarah, we try to use nice words in this kindergarten class. Molly, what's wrong? You want my mom? I want to go home. Oh, Molly, it's normal to miss your mom on your first day of school, but, you know, it's going to be okay. We're going to have fun, right? No, this isn't fun at all. I don't like school. Well, Molly, I think you might change your mind eventually. <laughs> now, let's go to lunch and see if we can have a much better day. Okay. Well, that girl's really mean. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. What's that smell? Something smells really good. Is, is that what I think it is? Molly, are you okay? I am now. That smells like pizza. Daisy, did you know that they have pizza at the school? Yeah, I, I knew because they sent Mom the, the uh, cafeteria menu a week ago. Holy guacamole! I picked my favorite subject at school. What is it, Molly? Lunch! Oh, poor Ethel. Uh, how much longer do I have to be in here, Mrs. Smith? Molly, your detention just started. And it's already boring. Molly, Take out a piece of paper and a pen, please, and write, I will do my homework about a hundred times. Oh, man. Molly, you have to start taking school seriously. It's very important that you get good grades and you learn. It will set you up for the rest of your life. I mean, you wouldn't want to be stuck in detention forever, would you? What? Forever? I can hardly make it through five minutes of this. This is horrible. Exactly. So you need to start applying yourself and doing better. What you do now is going to affect you in high school and for the rest of your life. Wow. Never thought about it like that. Can I be dismissed? I'm hungry for pizza day. Molly, I know that lunch is your favorite favorite subject, but you're not getting out of detention. Oh, man. Miss Smith, Miss Smith. Oh, there you are. You wanted to see me? Molly, are you in detention again? No talking to the prisoner, please. Prisoner? Yeah, Molly, you're in detention jail again. What can I do for you, Mrs. Smith? Well, Daisy, I see you got another hundred on your test. I just can't even believe it. What a goody two-shoes. Molly, remember you're writing. I will remember my homework about a million times. Anyway, I have something special to give you because you won the mathathon too. Really? OMG! Really? Could you be any more perfect? Oh, so annoying. Yep, here you go. <laughs> it's your very own mathathon trophy. Whoa! I love math. It's so awesome. Actually, who did that question on the board? They got it wrong. That would be me. Molly, if you did your homework, this wouldn't happen. Well, Daisy, I just want to congratulate you on being an amazing student. You're well on your way to rocket science. I know, right? I've wanted this since day, Kale. Ugh. Sisters are so annoying. Uh, Mrs. Smith, I've been here a really long time and, um, the school is flooding. Well, Molly, your detention is not over yet. But, but the water is up to my knees. I have to go. <sighs> okay, Molly, I guess your detention can be over. But remember what I said about starting to apply yourself at school. Now, you should probably evacuate. Huh, bye. Oh my gosh, it's flooding everywhere in the school. I better get to higher ground. Plus, I totally need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, look, here comes a loser. Whatever, Sarah. Huh. Rude. I've had the worst day ever. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't do your homework and you got detention again. You spent your life in there. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, what a loser. I'm not a loser, Sarah. Yeah, you are. And you're a little bit ugly, too. What? That wasn't nice. You're, you're, just, you're just bullying me. Whatever, loser. I've got to talk to my friends. See you later. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you just come into the bathroom and you're mean to me. Correction, you came into the bathroom. Ugh, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Molly, maybe coming to the beach today wasn't such a good idea. Holy guacamole, there is no beach. It's completely flooded. Molly, be careful. The water's over your head. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get to higher ground. <sighs> Molly, what are we gonna do if the whole town is flooded? Too late, Daisy. Holy guacamole. Daisy, what are we gonna do if this keeps flooding? We're gonna be stuck here, Molly. And maybe, maybe we'll do well. Oh my gosh, that's terrible, Daisy. Hello up there. Do you need help? I've got a floating um, four-wheeler. Whoa, you mean a boat? No, it's a four-wheeler with floating tires. Come on, I can help you. Why ask questions, Molly? Just get on the floating four-wheeler. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to get on. I, I can't get on. Oh, my God, I'm going to drown. Hold on to me. I'm Luke, by the way. Oh, hi. I'm I'm Molly. Hey, you too. Are you going to remember me? I'll be back for you. Whoa. Whoa, Luke, be careful. Don't worry. I'm an expert at driving these floating four-wheelers. Okay. Whoa, I can see that you are. You just crashed again. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm a little nervous. I've never seen a girl as beautiful as you. What? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. 
Okay, I I'm gonna go rescue the other girl. That other girl's my sister. Her name's Daisy. Okay, well, I'll be back in a minute. Wait, what's your name? My name's Molly. My name's Luke. See you in a minute. Uh, bye, Luke. OMG. He's so nice. And he's so cute. Oh, I really like him. Daisy, Luke brought you back. Yeah, he's really nice, huh? And so cute. What? Molly? Did you fall for Luke? Um, well, uh... You did, Molly! Look, the flood is gone. Oh, thank goodness. That was crazy. Hey, guys! <laughs> Look, the flooding's all gone and the sun's out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is. Thanks so much for uh, rescuing... Uh, 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 she means rescuing us. Yeah, sorry. Got a little tongue-tied there. No problem. Hey, um, so I'll see you in school tomorrow? Yeah, I never noticed you in school before. That's because I just moved here. Oh, well, um, maybe you have the same teacher as me. I have Mrs. Smith for math and English. Me too. We could sit next to each other tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Ugh, did you guys see that vlog? It was so insane. Wait a minute. Why am I talking to you? Oh, who are you? Oh, hi. I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> uh, so are you going to the dance on Friday? Um, excuse me, but Luke and I were talking. Actually, I've got to get going. <laughs> I'm going to be late for dinner and I'm starving. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Luke. Oh, he's so dreamy. What? Don't even think about it, loser. I think he's going to be my boyfriend. What? No, he's not. He's going to be my boyfriend. No. What would he want to do with a loser like you? Pff, I can't even believe he talked to you. It's just because he's a nice person. What? That's not true. Yeah, it is. See you later, loser. Tomorrow, when I ask him to the dance, everything's going to be amazing. What? No! Where's our teacher? Like, she's late for school. Does that mean she gets detention? It's probably still flooded where she is, Sarah. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I just walk into the classroom and just ask her. Oh, my gosh. It's Luke. Hey, Luke. <laughs> oh, he's about to ask me. Oh, uh, hi, Sarah. Hi, Luke. Okay, so I'll just spare you, like, of feeling nervous because I know I'm gorgeous and stuff, and it would be hard to ask me the dance the answer is yes what he he asked sarah to the dance sorry molly i know you really like luke actually wait a minute sarah i i wasn't gonna ask you to the dance wait what i was going to ask molly what you you were yeah you're so cool, Molly. Would you go to the dance with me? I brought you some flowers. I'm hoping you'll say yes. Yeah, of course I'll go to the dance with you. What? This is preposterous. I cannot believe this. I'm out of here. Ugh, this is horrible. Oh, that's so cute. You guys are going to the dance together. Wow, Luke. This is going to be so much fun going to the dance. Yeah, I think so too. I can't believe I get to take you. Wow, this is YouTube gold. I'm going to make a show about growing up in Beacon High School. I'm going to call it Brook High. Wow, Daisy, that's actually a great idea. Except for not of my life. But Molly, you do go to Brook High. And you're going to the dance with Luke. That's right. I sure am. <laughs> Say goodbye to Bob. Bye, Mom. Can't believe you're making us go to school again. Oh, when's the bus gonna get here? It's kind of cold out and it's still dark. That's because we catch the bus so early in the morning, Molly. Why are you so grumpy? Cause I have to go to school. I don't want to. Well, here's the school bus, Molly. No excuse not to get to school. Ugh. Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly. Whoa, you look super grumpy. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? No, she just doesn't want to be at school. She just wanted to stay home and play Roblox all day. Ooh. Yeah, I did. And, and look where I am. School. All good. How many days of my life am I going to be at school? Pretty much all of them, Molly. <laughs> Ugh. Mm, this Starbucks is delicious. What? I didn't even have time to finish my Starbucks. Oh, school is 
so annoying. Wow, you actually look grumpier than I do, Molly. And I'm pretty grumpy because I didn't get to finish my Starbucks and the teacher won't let us drink it in class. Molly, you love art class. Yeah, I guess I can turn my frown upside down. So, Daisy's not taking art class anymore? Nah, she's doing the gifted program. It's a science thing that she does every first period, every Monday and Wednesday. Wow, she's so smart. Whatever, I think she's a total nerd. <gasps> well, yeah, maybe she is, but being a nerd's not a bad thing. She's gonna have, like, the most amazing job someday. And and you won't, Sarah, so take that, ha, ha, ha. Whoa, Molly, you definitely did wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, well, I just don't want to deal with bullying today. Okay, Sarah? Whatever. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. A. Oh, you look so cute today. Thank you. I just tried to look as artsy as possible since I am, well, the art teacher. <laughs> Mrs. A, you're so cool. Whatever. I'm getting on Snapchat. Sarah, unless you're making art with Snapchat, then I suggest you put down your phone, silly. Mrs. A, you are so nice. Okay, I don't know what my masterpiece is going to be today, but I'm thinking that I might um actually paint a picture of my dog, Gracie, because it's almost her birthday, and she's just the most adorable dog. <coughs> oh, yeah, I've seen pictures of her on your Snapchat. She is super cute. That would be a great painting to make, Molly. Let me know if you need any help with that. You know where the supplies are. Sure do. <laughs> Sarah, what are you drawing? I'm drawing you not being next to me and me being completely alone in this classroom. Wait, what? Meaning you're annoying. Leave me alone. Oh, okay, fine. Cheapers, she's still in full-on bully mode. I'm looking for motivation in on my phone because, I don't know, I've been on Pinterest looking at different things I want to do for my art project, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't worry, Brookie. You'll figure out something. Wow, Molly, that's amazing work. You should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> um, but you are wearing a lot of the paint. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oopsie, I'm a really messy painter. May I have your attention? May I have your attention? Will Mrs. A please report to the principal's office? Miss A, please report to the principal's office. Uh-oh, Miss A, you're in trouble. Getting called to the principal's office. Um, I'm a teacher. I can't get detention. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not fair. What if you were bad and didn't do your homework? <laughs> Molly, you're being so ridiculous right now. She ha doesn't have homework. Actually, I have a lot of homework. I grade papers and do lots of schoolwork at home. Really? Remind me never to become a teacher. That sounds like a lot of hard work. Be right back, class. Keep working on your art. Oh, hi, Principal Bippity Boop Boop. <laughs> what? No, 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 that's not how you say it. It's, oh, never mind. Call me Mr. B. Sorry, your name is really hard to pronounce. And is it me or you just keep getting shorter? What? I'm not short. Why you call me short? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to point that out. <laughs> Don't give me detention. Can you give me detention? I'm a grown-up, you know. No, I'm not going to give you detention. But we need to have a serious talk, Mrs. A. Um, okay. But it's hard to take you serious when you're, well... That short and not wearing shoes! <laughs> you look like you're in daycare. Oh, sorry. But where are your shoes? What? Oh! I forgot my shoes at home again! Ugh. It's okay, Principal Boop 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 Boop. Call me Mr. B! You obviously can't pronounce my name. Sorry, Principal B, um, what is it I can do for you? The serious talk is this. You're not serious enough. What? I'm the art teacher. I'm supposed to have fun with the kids! Help them inspire creativity and... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And also, a lot of... Blah! Whoa! Mr. B, Principal B, whatever you want to be called. Uh, you seem very grumpy today. Do you need like a little snack? Maybe you're just hungry. What? No, I ate a good breakfast. I just forgot my shoes. But anyway, uh, I'm fine. I just don't like how, well, nice you are. Um, okay. If you can't be more strict, you're fired. But I just bought a house and the bills are going to be due. You can't fire me. It's the only school in town. I won't have a job. I'll be homeless. Then I suggest getting started.
stricter. Uh -oh. Now get out of my office. Okay. Well, good talk, Principal Bippity Boop 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 You can call me Principal B! Ugh! Uh, Ricky, I had a little bit of an accident with the paint. Molly, you you look like you hit your head and got hurt or something. Is that blood or paint? Um, it's definitely paint. Uh, I just really get into my artwork and, um, well, uh, I might be the messiest painter in the world. Yeah. I'm thinking so, Molly. <laughs> you might need to go to the bathroom and wash your face. Hey, look, Mrs. A! Had a little bit of a painting accident. What? You're gonna make a mess of everything. Wait, what? I thought you thought it was cute and funny that I was such a messy painter. Canvas, what are you even doing? Just wasting time this entire time? No, I'm just not very good at art. And I just figured out what exactly I wanted to do. And I'm sorry. Ugh. You two are gonna definitely fail this class. You for being messy, and you for being lazy. Uh -oh. Um, Brookie is not lazy. She wakes up every morning and goes for like a five mile run. She's just not that good at art. No offense, Brookie. None taken, Molly. Well, I don't think. Mrs. A, can I wash the paint off my face? What? Ah! Looks like I'm not the only one that got paint on my face. What happened to you? What are you talking about? I like this look. Yeah. Um, okay, as long as you like it. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? I need to wash this paint off. It's getting into my eyes. Oh, it's stinging. Yes, you have exactly 30 seconds. If you're late, detention. Whoa, um, clock starts now. Okay, okay. Oh God, oh God. I got 30 seconds or I'm gonna get detention. What happened to Mrs. A? She used to be so cool. Perfect, totally within the 30 seconds. Uh-oh. Now I have to go potty. Okay, I just gotta be quick about it. That's all. As long as I'm super fast and back in like, um, 10 seconds, everything should be fine. Yeah, fine. La 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 la, just trying to hurry. Why was the toilet lid open? Oh God, this toilet must be broken. All right, I gotta go use the other one. Na 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 na. Oh God, I have like five seconds left. Rout row. Ugh, why'd I eat so many pancakes for breakfast? I mean, they were delicious, but. Ugh. Okay, gotta get back to class. Uh-oh, the door won't open. Ah, let me out of the bathroom! Okay, maybe I can jump over the top. Don't panic, Molly. Um, you ever think when you're in the bathroom at school, if the door, like, locked and you couldn't get out, could you squeeze under the door or not? I'm about to find out. Uh, uh, oh, my God, I'm getting stuck. Oh, oh my God, I can't fit underneath there. I'm too fat to get under the door. Okay, maybe this way. Um, I'm stuck inside the bathroom! <laughs> OMG, I'm too fat to get under the door. Um, I don't know what to do right now. Maybe scream for the janitor? Come on, you stupid lock! Open! Oh, wait, the door just opened. Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm a little bit late, but she's gotta understand. I got trapped in the bathroom! There you are. Where have you been? Well, I washed the paint off my face, as you can see. Um, but then I had to go to the bathroom because I ate a lot of pancakes this morning. I don't like your excuses. This is A. You used to be so cool. What happened to you? What happened is that I'm stripped. Um, yeah, I noticed. Um, anyway, I got locked in the bathroom. I tried to crawl underneath the stall, but I was a little too chubby from all the pancakes I ate and I couldn't fit. And then I opened the door and I came back as soon as I opened it. A likely story. So you couldn't open the door and then magically it opened? Detention. But you just said I did a really great job on my painting. I really did get stuck in the bathroom. I don't think I deserve detention. I, I did good in class and I had to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry. I don't care what you want or what you say. Detention. Aww. Aww. Mrs. say no offense or anything, but I don't think you're like you are normally and I just want to stick up for my best friend because well she worked really hard on her painting and she's been doing really good in your class I don't think she de deserves detention well thank you Miss Nosy now you can sit in detention with her <gasps> wait w what yep see you both after class today at 3 p.m. thanks Brookie sorry you got detention too Hey guys, it's me, Molly, and to my BFF, Brookie. Hey guys. And we're making this Snapchat because something is going on with our art teacher, Mrs. A. She's normally so sweet and so nice, just really understanding. And today she's like weird and strict. Yeah, 
Her face has even changed. Yeah, she's just like dressing different. Her face looks different. It's like she's not even the same person. She's just like being so mean. Anyway, because I took an extra 30 seconds in the bathroom, she gave me detention and I don't, I don't know. I think Brookie and I should try to escape. What? Are you serious, Molly? Totally. Guys, we're making this video so you guys have evidence that our amazing teacher has turned weird and strict. Well, Molly, come on. We better get to detention. Wait, it's in math class? Are you serious? Ugh, this just figures. Welcome to detention. No talking, no smiling, no breathing. Um, excuse me, breathing is kind of a necessity. Do it quietly. Well, I didn't plan on breathing like this. <gasps> <gasps> Molly, don't make me laugh. You're gonna give me extra detention. Did you notice you two are the only ones in here? That's because you're losers. Bruh. Whoa, maybe you need detention. You're being really rude. Really? Maybe you need in-school suspension. Really? Well, <gasps> Molly, stop breathing so loud. I'm not sorry. Well, well, well. Seems I've met my match for being weird. Yeah, I am weird and proud of it. But you didn't meet your match for being strict. That's just you, crazy teacher. Now, come on. I want to tell the principal on you. I cannot believe a student is taking me to the principal. Well, weird strict teacher, I think you deserve it. Oh, what's that, your stomach? Are you not eating lunch? Is that why you're so grumpy? Oh, wait, is that Principal Bippity Boop Boop? Principal Bippity Boop Boop! What happened to you? Wait, is he just taking a nap or is he dead? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? You were taking a nap behind your desk, obviously. I mean, don't deny it. I do that stuff, too, at school. But, I mean, come on. You're the principal, man. You're supposed to set a good example. No, I wasn't taking a nap. A likely excuse. No, I really wasn't. Some guy in, in a cloak came in with... Uh, had a, he had a black hood over his head, and he said that he was taking my job as principal. Then he conked me over the head with a hammer. What? Wait a minute. I, I saw this principal before. And he told me I had to be weird or strict. And I or I'd lose my job. Sorry, I don't mean to keep sitting at your desk like I'm the principal. But this game, it always makes you sit down. Why? Why? Well, maybe it wants you to be the principal. Apparently, I'm not very good at it. Well, you were taking a nap behind your desk. I was not. I got conked on the head by a hammer. Whoa. I can't believe that happened to you, Principal Bibbidi Boop Boop Boop. Oh, just call me Principal B. <laughs> Look at me. It looks like I'm taking notes. Silly game. <laughs> I can't believe this. I, I, I've been weird and strict with my students because that evil principal said that if I wasn't, I'd lose my job. Wait, what? You're not really weird and evil? And strict? No. I never wanted to be that. I just felt like if I wasn't, I'd be homeless with no job. This is terrible. Someone is out there turning teachers into weird, strict teachers. Yeah, we need to get to the bottom of this. But, um, Mrs. A, you can go back to being yourself now. I hope that I can. I mean, I feel sort of stuck as weird and strict. Snap out of it, lady! I don't like you weird and strict. It's, well, weird and strict, and it really stinks. <laughs> oh, I'm back to myself. Mrs. A! Oh, thank goodness. Time to make a Snapchat. Wait, what? That's what you really want to do right now? Yeah, I have to tell everybody. Guys, everybody that goes to school with me, this is the real principal. Princess, principal, principal, bippity, boppity, boobity, doot. Yeah, or something like that. Or maybe it's toot toot. Toot toot, yeah, principal toot toot, that's it. What, no, I'm not a toot toot. I don't toot toot. Uh-huh, sure you don't. Especially after you have those bean burritos they give us at lunch. Uh-huh. Anyway, guys, he was knocked out by an evil, weird, strict principal guy. And then he made my teacher, Mrs. A, be weird and strict, too. But she's back to normal, and so isn't Principal Toot Toot. It's not Principal Toot Toot! Uh-huh, sure it isn't. Anyway, be careful, guys. 
This weird strict principal might be coming to your school. Watch out for him. Seriously. Watch out. All right, I sent it to everybody in the school, and I told everybody on YouTube. Well, Molly, that's good. I'm glad to be back to being myself. Me too. You as weird and strict was terrible. Do I still have detention? Nah. You can go home and great job on your artwork today. Thanks, Mrs. A. Whew. Thank goodness I got rid of the weird strict teacher. Good thing she didn't catch me. Wait, what? I'm confused right now. I thought you were back to nice, Mrs. A. No, I like being weird strict teacher. <laughs> and now I'm going to go to the next school. Get a teaching job in another town and be weird and strict there too! <laughs> Wait, what? No, you can't! I'll call the next school. I'll tell them! <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> They'll never know what happened to you. <laughs> In today's video, you're going to see why you should always try to be nice to others because you never know what someone might be going through. Molly and Daisy's family seems, well, really nice. I mean, not perfect, but super, super nice. Hey, honey, what's for dinner? Um, I thought we could have tacos. Ooh, one of my favorites. Well, we'd have to wait for Daisy. I'll set the table. Thanks, honey. I really appreciate all of your help. Molly, would you feed the dogs? <coughs> Ugh, do I have to? Yes, Molly. You have to. And we'll wait till Daisy gets home from her dance competition before we eat our tacos. Meanwhile, at my house, things aren't so perfect. Brookie, I'm home. Hey, Dad. I'm in the kitchen. Hey, honey. How was school today? It was okay. Oh, are you still struggling with missing your mom? Yeah, I mean, I know it's been a few months since she died, but I just still really miss her. I think we'll miss her forever, honey, but I have a new somebody that I want you to meet. Really? Who? Hi, I'm Karen! Oh, um, <gasps> Dad, I wasn't expecting your new friend to be, well, a girl. Well, Karen and I met, um, well, the other day. She works at the local restaurant. She owns it. Karen's Drive-Thru? Have you heard of it? Um, yeah, Dad. This is the owner of Karen's Drive-Thru. Everyone thinks she's, like, totally miserable. What? No, Karen's so amazing. And, um, her and I have been dating. <laughs> dating? <gasps> Wait. What? Dad! No! What about Mom? Honey, we have to move on with our lives. We can't, you know, just think about that forever. Come on, Karen's really nice. Give her a chance. Ugh, well, ugh, I just, I don't know what to say, okay? Excuse me, Karen. I need to run to my room and be dramatic about this, and you're right in my way. Ugh, I thought she might have this reaction. It's fine! Kids love me! Trust me! Wow! Okay, Karen, well, I hope you're right, because my Brookie, she means the world to me, and I just think she's really struggling with this since her mom died. Oh, don't worry about a thing! I'm gonna be like a new mom for her! Okay, I, I really hope she accepts you. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine, Lou! Hey, everybody. I'm making this snap because I just found out my dad has a new girlfriend already. Her name is Karen. She owns Karen's drive through downtown. And I always heard she's like, ugh, terrible. And, well, I'm not sure that I want anyone to take my mom's place, ever. Okay, well, that's all. If you think this was bad, you should see what happens in a couple of weeks when my dad decides to move Karen into our house. And then he gives me the biggest, worst announcement. Finally, some time away from my new roommate, Karen. Honey, where are you, Brookie? Oh, there you are, sweetie. Hey, um, I, I gotta tell you something. 
Oh, is it the Karens moving out? Yay! No. Well, honey, uh, are you having a problem with Karen? Well, actually, Dad, I was thinking that maybe it could be just... Hi! <laughs> are you ready, honey? Let's make our announcement to her. I can't wait to be your new mommy. Oh, uh, Karen, maybe now's not such a good time. It's a perfect time, Lou. <laughs> Brookie, we're getting married. Ah! Wait, what? I, I don't know what to say. Say you're excited for us. <laughs> Your dad and I are going to live happily ever after. Honey, are you okay? Sweetie, I want you to be okay with this. Of course she's okay with it, Lou. Who wouldn't want a new mommy after all the bad things that have happened? We're going to be BFFs, Brookie. I already have a BFF. Her name is Molly. Honey, just try to be nice to Karen. She's going to be your stepmom from now on. I... I... Uh... Well, bye, sweetie. I have to go to work, but I'm sure you and Karen were going to have the best day ever while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Sure, Dad. I just miss Mom. I wish she was here right now. Oh, bye-bye, Lou. Have a great day. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to just sit around and be lazy when I'm here? What? What are you talking about, Karen? You will call me mother. No, I won't. I'm not calling you mother. Excuse me, I want to go to the kitchen and get a snack. You aren't going anywhere. You want to earn a snack? Clean these floors <gasps> now. Wait, what? That's right. I don't need you just sitting around here being lazy all day. When I'm here, what I say goes. You can't talk to me like this. I'll tell my dad. And ruin the little bit of happiness he has? Oh, you selfish little spoiled brat. Ow! Well, she has a point. My dad does seem really happy with Karen. I guess I'll do what you say, Karen. Good. Start doing all these chores, you brat. Okay. Uh, Karen, I finished all my chores. Um, could I go outside and get some fresh air now? No. Uh now you can make me a snack and then go to your room and be quiet. Um, okay, I'll make you a snack. Here you go, Karen. I made you a whole pizza. Is that good? Wow. Yeah, it'll do. But, um, did you put carbs in that? Well, yeah, it's pizza. It has lots of carbs. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll eat it. But you better try harder for my afternoon snack. Now go to your room. Um, okay. Oh my god. This is the worst life ever. I, I just don't even want to live in this house anymore. It's so terrible. <laughs> I miss my mom. I have the worst life ever right now. <laughs> I wonder who that is. <laughs> Hey there, BFF. What's up? Hey, Molly. I'm so sad. I guess talking to your BFF is the best thing to do when you're having problems. My dad is marrying Karen. And she's, well, a Karen. She's mean and and crazy. <laughs> well, you have to tell your dad. I can't. He's so happy. Rookie, are you in your room? Or are you in the bathroom? You better not be using my curling iron. Ugh, gotta go. Where are you? I can't even find you. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can hide from Karen. If I hide from her, she can't find me. Then she can't be mean to me anymore. Molly, help. Are you seriously on your phone? Did I approve you being on your phone? Who on earth could that be? Go answer the door. 
Um, okay, stepmother. I didn't say you could call me stepmother. I said you should call me mother. <laughs> DoorDash for Karen. Molly? Shh, just play along. <laughs> she doesn't know what I look like. What? DoorDash? Who ordered this? I did. That's why I was on my phone. Because you said the lunch was really terrible. So I decided to or order you some gluten-free options from DoorDash. With my own money, of course. Mm. Well, I guess you're just trying to get on my good side. Which is a good thing. Because I'm your new mother. I'm going to go eat my snack. Okay, I'll just let the DoorDash person out. Molly, hurry, come on. Come up to my room. Whoa, your stepmom is like evil. She's not my stepmom yet. Brookie, why you keep laying it down? Are you needing a nap or something? No, it's this game. It always glitches. It makes me try to lay down. Um, okay, anyway, back to what we were talking about. We have to get you out of here, but how? I think, um, we could try to sneak out. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, um, let me see what I have in my bag to help us sneak out of here. Yeah, because I don't think these windows actually open. Ugh, Roblox. Why don't you make windows that open so I can get out? Ooh. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't have anything in my bag except for, well, a half-eaten cupcake from yesterday, an old piece of gum, and... Okay, yeah. Molly, that's okay. You don't have to tell me everything. Well, I also had some toilet paper in there. Toilet paper? Why? Because one time I went to Walmart and I had to go to the bathroom and they didn't have any toilet paper. Oh, oh why did I eat that bean burrito? Wait a minute. W -w where's the toilet paper? Oh my God. Oh my God, there's no toilet paper. Oh! <laughs> Man, that was a terrible memory. Thanks for asking me to relive it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I see why you care to carry toilet paper with you everywhere you go. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's just sneak out, Brookie. I'm sure your evil soon-to-be stepmom or whatever, evil Karen, whatever you want to call her, won't even notice. She'll be too busy chowing down on the food I brought. Molly, be super careful. Our house is very old. The floors squeak. Yeah, we don't want to get caught. Exactly. I see the door. We can get out of here. Is somebody there? Uh-oh! Caught! Hide! Where are you, Brookie? Ugh, really? Did you think you were going to trick me with that hiding spot? Well, our house doesn't really have any hiding places, but wouldn't it be fun to play hide-and-seek? Mother? <laughs> ha! Ha! Ah, shoo! What was that? Was that the DoorDash person? Um, yeah. Wait a minute. You look like the picture I've seen of Brookie's BFF in her bedroom. Uh -oh. Is your name Molly? Um, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I also work for DoorDash. Yeah, that's it. I think you're both liars. You want to know what? You want to play hide and seek? Great. If I find you after five minutes of hiding, you're grounded for life. Uh-oh. Molly, where should we hide? I think we should split up. Then at least one of us will get grounded and not the other. And maybe the other one can go get your dad or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be split up from you, Molly. We have to, Brookie. Good luck. Thanks, Molly. You too. I never realized how terrible my house is for hide and seek. Ooh. Where should I go? Where should I go? The time is ticking. The time is ticking. Oh, I know. I have a good spot, I think. Okay. Um... I just, I need to lay down, and then I can hide in those bushes, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, that should work, right? Okay, let's see if I can just, like, over here, like this. Like, oh, I'm sticking out too far! Oh my god, maybe these bushes over here. <laughs> Look how I'm going across the ground! That looks really weird. Guys, um, maybe this bush over here? 20 seconds till I ground you for life! Oh, oh god. I don't think you can see me here. Oh, no, you can still see me a little bit. Right, I think this is the best bush to hide in over here. I don't know if I could just turn my body a certain way. This would work perfectly. Wait, 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 wait. Wow, oh my God. Okay, 
Okay, my legs are still hanging out. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, rookie, good luck. Hmm. Where are you, girl? I want to ground you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Ow, she stepped on my finger. Ow. Don't scream, Brookie. Don't scream. Hmm. Seems I can't find her. She's very good at this game. But I'll never give up and never surrender. Bratty, spoiled kids. I can't even believe how bratty they are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, Ugh, Allergies. <laughs> Found you, brat. Now you're grounded for life. Ooh. Wait, what? I, 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 I didn't mean to, to, to cause any trouble and... Grounded. For life. Wait a minute. Uh, you're not my mom. What? But I'm a grown-up. So I can decide if you're grounded or not. Uh, no. Also, no and no. You're not my mom, so you don't get to ground me. Get a clue, Karen. She's distracted with Molly. Maybe if I jump on this trampoline, I can jump high enough to get over the fence in the backyard and run to my dad. It worked! Oh my gosh, I just need to run as fast as I can. I see the town! I see the town! Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, Karen, um, uh... I found you. And now you're grounded for life! Seriously, Karen, get out of my way! I don't think so. I'm your mother now. So call me... Mother. Hey guys, so what's up? Welcome to my channel, guys. Today, my sister and I are going to play Snapchat Hide and Seek. Not it! Molly! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go hide on my sister, and then I'm going to send her hints or clues using Snapchat. Remember, no hiding in houses, Molly. Only in town. Rules, 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 rules. Make me want to drool, drool, drool. Okay, um, not really. The only thing that makes me want to drool is going through the drive through at Burger King. Oh, Molly, quit thinking about your stomach and hide. My sister is so bossy. Do you guys have a sister or brother that's really bossy? Because mine is. All right, where am I going to hide, guys? Um... Oh, you can hide inside that. That'd be funny. But no, I can't. Um, let's go in here, inside here, and see if I can hide in here. Marty, you have ten more seconds to hide. What? I didn't know it was timed. Holy guacamole. All right, guys. Let's see if she can find me. La, 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 la. Guys, watch this. This is going to be such a weird place to hide, but whatever. I'm going to do it. And <laughs> this is the perfect spot. What do you got? Here we come. She's never gonna find me. All right, guys, let's take our first Snapchat. Oh, that one you can see exactly where I am. I don't want that. Uh. Yeah, this one's good. Okay, I'm sending it to my sister. Molly, seriously, are you gonna send me the Snapchat or not? Totally sending it to you. Molly, how am I supposed to know you are on that? I don't know, but I guess I win. <laughs> Molly, I'm gonna be looking for you forever. Could you send me a Snapchat that's like a little bit better? Okay, fine. Guys, should I send her this one? I think I should, okay. Let's send her that one. There you go, Daisy. Oh, <laughs> I have a good idea what you might be. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one was easy because I gave you pretty much exactly where I am. Molly, I'm coming for you. <laughs> See about that. Oh my God, where is she? Uh, it looked like a bowling pin, but now I don't even know what she is. <laughs> spot Molly I have to say I thought so too if I hadn't given you such a big hint you would have never ever found me well it's my turn now Molly start counting 
One, two, three. She's never gonna find me. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, guys, I have not gotten a Snapchat from Daisy yet. Um, but I'm just gonna look for her before I get one. Because I literally want to see if I can find her without Snapchat. Mindy, do you give up? Do you need a Snapchat hint? Yeah, you can send me a Snapchat hint. Okay, here it is, guys. Let's see what it says. Daisy, that's impossible for me to see where you are. Come on. Send me an easier snap than that. Fine. Well, I sent you one. You knew exactly where I was, basically. We gotta start making it harder and harder, but not that hard. I'm waiting for Daisy's snap to come in. While I'm waiting, I'm totally gonna just jump on this trampoline. Whee! Fun! Hopefully this is a better snap than before. Oh, Daisy, half your head is missing. W? What? Oh my god, and I only get like five seconds to look at it. Like guacamole? I have no idea where that is. W-T-E-F? Guys, would you have any idea where that is? Because, I don't know. I guess I should start looking at buildings. You see, I need a better hint than that. One more snap. Really, Molly? You stink at this game. I'm just saying, this is really hard. Guys, should, I'm going to start going in buildings. All right, here we go. I got another snap from Daisy. Oh, I think I think that's like at the grocery store or something. <laughs> Laundry mat. Maybe it's at the pet palace. I'm gonna go there first. Uh, Molly, when was the last time the pets drink bottled water? <laughs> My dogs drink from the toilet bowl, so <laughs> they don't need anything fancy like bottled water. All right, guys, let's head over to the Walmart and see if we can find Daisy. <coughs> Daisy, where are you? OMG, guys, I still have not found Daisy. Where could she possibly be? This is ridiculous. I'm so much better at hide and seek than Molly, guys. Yeah, I guess you are. Aww. Molly, do you need yet another Snapchat? Yeah. She's outside in a trash can. Okay. <laughs> well... Having sisters sometimes is a bunch of trashy garbage. Molly! Ha <laughs> ha! Saw you, Daisy! Oh, great. I was out trying to make a Snapchat for you, and basically I got caught because you're so bad at hide and seek. You were... You got inside the machine? Oh, man. I feel like such an ignoramus. Let's see the last snap that Daisy sent me. I definitely want to see it. Oh, I keep messing up. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Molly, you have to press the... Oh, you're gonna break your phone, Molly. Okay, there we go. What? Um, Daisy, that's that was also not helpful, but I just saw you jumping around. Is it my turn to hide? Um, well, okay. Yay! Finally. Start counting. One, two... Guys, I have the perfect spot. OMG, this, she's never gonna find me, like, ever. Uh-huh, sure, Molly. I'll never find you, I bet. Uh-oh! You're not very good at hide and seek. Well, I know, but, well, it is what it is. I just do my best, people. <laughs> Guys, look where I am right now. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Ready or not, here we come! I have to send Daisy my first chat, Snapchat right now. <laughs> All right, Daisy, here you go. You made the school, Molly. <laughs> That's what you think. Well, I guess I could just take a nap right here since my sister is never going to find me. Guys, I just want to see when she runs by me because it's probably going to be um, one eternity before she actually figures this out. Molly, I need another hint, please. Okay, Daisy Jeepers. I <laughs> guess I'm not the only one that doesn't know how to play hide and seek. Ah, uh, very good. What? I'm great at hide and seek. I'm just, well, I'm good at the hiding, not so much the seeking. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, you gave it away, Molly. That one was much too easy. No, you can't catch me. <laughs> Molly, I'm gonna catch you. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm gonna make it back to the safe zone. What? 
You just made that balloon up. <laughs> you ran me over with the ambulance. Now I caught you, Molly. Should I take you to the Looney Tunes bin? What? To the Looney Tunes bin? Oh, congratulations, Daisy. You totally crashed the ambulance. Well, I still caught you. Nope, not yet. Still running for my life back to the safe zone. Wait, where is the safe zone? I can't remember where the safe zone even is. Oh my gosh, Molly. Oh no, she spawned another car. Guys, hurry quick on top of the waterfall. <laughs> you can't pick me up. No! Get away from me. <laughs> Molly, I'm going to get you. No, you're not. I'm almost to the safe zone. You're going to lose. You're going to lose, Daisy. You're trying to pick me up in the car. Oh my God, Daisy. Yay, I made it. Whatever, I'm still going to hide again, Molly. Now count already. Okay, fine. Ready or not, Daisy, here I come. Are you going to send me a Snapchat or what? If not, I'm going to go in here and um, do some laundry, eat a snack. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly, I was sending it to you. Give me a second. Daisy, you look dead. What is going on? Um, I don't know where you are, but it's definitely outside, and you definitely look like you are D-E-A-D -E dead. Maybe she's, like, lounging in the park or something, guys. Oh, my God. If you guys see her and I don't, I really am going to feel pretty ignoramus. <laughs> she's wearing a bright pink shirt. I feel like she can't be that hard to find. Maybe she's on Muscle Beach. But, no, the grass was green underneath her. So, oh, man, this is going to be harder than I thought. Do you need another snap, Molly? Yes, I need another snap. Always need another snap. She could literally be hiding anywhere in this town. Where is my sister, Daisy? Here's the next Snapchat, guys. Let's see where she is. I don't know what building that is. Um, okay. Guys, I have to find this building that looks like that. I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to try to find it. Oh, wait. I think I see it, guys. I think I see it. Hmm. It definitely looks like it's going up a hill. Ha! <laughs> Barely feel like you're never going to find it. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence, Daisy. Wait, why is there a police car right there? Is Daisy in that? Is she going to try to run me over again? <laughs> Guys, maybe she's like laying in these bushes right here. Oh my god, this is so hard to find my sister. I'm going to the prison. <laughs> That's where you belong, Daisy, for, for, I don't know, for being so good at this game. It's driving me crazy. Okay, I have I have a plan, guys. I have a plan. Does it include losing? Because you're pretty good at that. Oh, uh oh. Okay, DC, whatever you say. Well, you are, Molly. Just saying. Nah. All right. Um, I'm going to the top of town. The reason why I'm doing this is because I feel like I can see all the buildings where my sister is a little bit better. Okay, I have no idea, Daisy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. That was just a stab light. I literally thought that was my sister. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me right now? Okay, Daisy. You forever win. You're the best at this game ever. Send me another Snapchat, please, and let me know. Where are you? All right, just send me another snap. Okay, it's a brown building. What? Where am I? Oh, is this the building? No, I don't think that's a building. I don't know where to go right now. But I gotta find my sister somehow. I didn't ask you for another snap. I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, just look at it, Molly. Wait, you took <laughs> Running by you. Wait a minute. Molly, you're never gonna find me. What is wrong with you right now? Okay, I'm a little terrible hide and seek. Oh. 
one eternity later. Wait a minute, guys. This looks like the front of the building that she sent me. <laughs> there you go, duh. Okay, where could she be, guys? It looked like she was outside. I mean, you literally could hide in any of these shrubs anywhere and not get caught ever. We should play this with Brookie and all of our friends, I think. I think we should too, Molly. Oh my God. I'm never gonna find her! Wait, there's some grass back here. Maybe she's hiding there. It looked like she was in grass. It sort of looked like she was in the cemetery too. Um, I don't know, but I just found my next hiding spot. Don't tell Daisy, though. Five minutes later. Oh, this is so annoying, and I can't find my... Ouch. Oh, I'm not a step daddy. I knew she was in one of these bushes. That was the best hiding place ever. That was so hard to find you, Daisy. <laughs> you are so lost. It was great. You're terrible with directions. Okay, fine. Go count. It's my turn. Yeah? You think you're so smart? You think you're so great at this? Well, compared to you, Molly, yes. All right, guys. I found my next hiding spot. She's not going to even know what hit her right now. Watch Ooh. this. Okay, Daisy, ready. Look at me, guys. Oh, my God. That is so crazy. Can you find me, Daisy? I don't think so. I'll find you, Molly, if it's the last thing I do. Okay, send me a Snapchat, though. Yeah, she always needs that Snapchat. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I'm not going to make this last one easy on you, Daisy. I want to see if this video can be three hours long on YouTube while you find me. Uh-oh. Make it hard on you like you've made them hard on me. Oh, my gosh, guys. I actually do see Daisy right now. You guys see her? She's like, nah, she's clueless. Never give up and never surrender. I'm gonna find Molly. Daisy, did you cheat on this round? Did you see where I wa was going or something? Well, uh, Daisy, you cheated. I get to go again. Not fair. <laughs> Molly, you cry like a baby where you are. <laughs> you wouldn't have known where I was right away. That's okay. That's okay, Daisy. I'm going to pick an even better spot this time, and you will never find me. Not ever, not ever, not ever. <laughs> guys, I can't even find me right here. Can you guys see where I am? Well, it's really hard to show you guys, but you guys can see, right? <laughs> what do you know? Here I come! Let's okay, so see where Daisy is on the map right now. Let's see if she can find me. I probably won't even need Snapchat. Uh -huh, sure you will. Let's see if I can even do a Snapchat right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect one. Here you go, Daisy. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm like between worlds right now. What? You're not even in the game? Uh oh! I'm not in the game. It's just, nah. It's a little glitchy, but that's good for me and bad for you. Oh my god, guys, what is going on? I can't get, okay, I can't get out now. Okay, there we go. One hour later. Guys, there's Daisy way down there. She still has absolutely no clue where I am. <laughs> <laughs> not so easy to play hide and seek with me now, is it? Molly, can I have another hand, please? You actually did hide really good this time. Okay, guys, she's asking for another Snapchat hint. So, what should I give her? <laughs> what? Okay, this is fun. There you go, Daisy. Good luck. I can't even see where I am. There we go. <laughs> Where's Daisy? Oh. There she is, guys. She's running through town right now, trying to figure it out, and she cannot. Guys, I hope you can go get a snack from your kitchen. 
settle into your favorite cozy spot because it's gonna take Daisy about 300 years wow. to find where I am right now. <laughs> Alright, let's send her another Snapchat. Your Snapchat's not useful, Molly. Well, I can't help you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Guys, look at that one! <laughs> Best spot ever! How about this one, guys? Look at this Snapchat. I'm gonna try it now. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn it around. Still nothing. Where am I? I'm like, I disappeared. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Here you go, Daisy! <laughs> Oh, it's getting dark. Daisy, this took you so long, it's dark out. But this is really hard. Where are you, Molly? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, Daisy? Sometimes it's hard for me to, like, get an overhead viewpoint so I can show you guys. Okay, guys, my sister really needs help. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to text her a clue right now. And let's see what she, what? um, <laughs> what she says. Oh, man, that cost so much money. Come on. Oh, did it not work? Where do you? Sent it. Where do trolls live? What do you mean by that? I mean, where do trolls live, Daisy? <gasps> Molly, I think I know where you are. Good luck to you. <laughs> she look she's she's circling with a helicopter guys seriously my sister took this very 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 personally that she could not win this last round of hide and seek with me i finally figured it out molly's in here or something <laughs> <laughs> molly where are you <laughs> Spot. Yeah, no, I can't get out of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, M G. <laughs> I thought I was never gonna find you again, Molly. Yeah, I thought so too. Hey, can you pick me up? I feel like a little bit tired. <laughs> oh, there, there, baby Molly. Did you get very tired when you were waiting for me to find you under the bridge, you little troll, baby? <laughs> Wait, we're going in the helicopter? How the hell? This seems like a bad idea. You can't hold a baby and drive a helicopter. Daisy, seriously? This seems like a bad idea. It's a fine idea, Molly. How about a little helicopter ride home? Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching us play hide and seek Snapchat version. We'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>
don't take a maybe. We finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy. So am I. Wait a minute. What makes the maybe turn into a yes, mom? Yeah, mom. What makes the maybe turn into a yes? Can I dance on the counter? Molly, get down. Yeah, Molly, before she changes her mind. Well, I know you guys have that big math test coming up, and I was thinking that if you both could pass it, then I'll get you each a new iPhone. Wow. Really? That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. New iPhone, here I come. Oh wait, I'm gonna definitely go study right now and for the rest of the night, so basically I can get a new iPhone. Good luck, Molly. Good luck is right, Mom. Do we have to make that wag at the iPhone? I'll even vacuum the floor. Just, I'm not that great at math. Which should be an encouragement to you, Molly, to study. And the test is tomorrow, so I'd get going. Yeah, okay. But first I wanna watch some TV because I haven't watched any yet today and I love watching TV. I won't watch it for that long. Just enough time to let my brain relax a little bit. A few hours later. OMG, that was a great episode. That made me think that I need to play that new survival game on Roblox. I haven't played it yet, and I definitely want to try it out. This is going to be awesome. Two hours later. What? Why didn't I win? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I need more practice. Um, uh, Molly, just a friendly reminder, but it's been three hours since I made you the iPhone offer. Huh, what? Oh, um, yeah, Mom, I just... I had to win this Roblox game. I mean, I am a famous YouTuber and all. That's lovely, Molly. But if you want the iPhone, I suggest that you study for your math test or else you're going to fail and then no new iPhone. I mean, how will you FaceTime Brookie? Um, yeah, Mom, you have a point. I'm actually going to study. Really? Something I said actually got through to you and you're going to study? Oh, parenting win. Don't get too excited, Mom. I'm definitely the problem child still. Well, I'll take this one as a small win. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, Molly? I'm, um, studying. Molly, it's 9.30 at night. It's a little late for studying, don't you think? Um, no, not at all. I'm just getting started. I'm gonna pull an all-nighter and basically do amazing on this test. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Try not to be too loud, though. I need my rest. It's a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna pass a test and get an iPhone. And so am I, Daisy. Well, if you had studied a bit more and... I don't need to hear that, Daisy. <sighs> One, two... What are you doing? Working out. A fit body goes along with having the healthiest mind. Okay, if you say so. I'll just be over here in the corner studying, studying, and studying some more. Oh, this math is so hard. Molly... <sighs> You've literally been working on it for five minutes and you're already crying? Yes! Oh, it's so difficult! Molly, wipe your tears and keep your eye on the prize. That iPhone will be yours before you know it. Thanks, Daisy! I needed that motivation! Oh my gosh! It's 3 a.m. I've been up for hours and hours and hours studying! Oh, I have to sleep. Must sleep! <laughs> Today's the day I get an iPhone. Molly. Molly. Well, she snoozes, she loses. Okay, well, ah, do a little few workout I set ups just to wake up my brain, have some breakfast, and head out the door. Molly, you gonna wake up? Molly. <coughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help you. <coughs> what, what, what was that? Wake up, Molly. Wake up. Does that say 9 a.m.? Ah! I'm going to miss the school bus. Well, good thing I slept in my clothes last night. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ah, we just ran into the door. Holy guacamole. I'm going to be late. Well, well, well. Look who decided to get out of bed. Seems to me you failed the test. No, Mom, I haven't. Just get me to the end of the day. I'll show you. I'll show them all. I'll just run to school. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, the school bus waited for me. Oh! This is such good news. <laughs> it's not so bad after all, I guess. Thank you for waiting for me, school bus driver. Daisy, why are you wearing your lab coat from Halloween? Because, Molly, I'm going to be a famous scientist one day, and this coat just, I think it's lucky. It's a Halloween costume. Molly, shh. 
You just be grateful that you're not late for math and quit worrying about what I'm wearing for this test. It brings me luck. Oh, wow. Actually, we're earlier than everyone else. I thought we were going to be so late. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're just going to wait for the rest of class to get here, and uh, then we can start our test, okay? Okay, Mr. Jared, no problem. I studied so hard last night. Ugh, I hardly got any sleep. She could have started studying three hours before and went to bed on time. Daisy, Ugh, sisters are exhausting. Okay, class, eyes on your own paper. You have exactly 15 minutes to finish this test. Whoa, hush, 15 minutes. Oh, I can do this, I can do this. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I hope. Molly, quiet, please. Sorry, I kind of talked to myself out loud. No, I've, I've got this down, I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm done. Well, Molly, that was the fastest you've ever completed a test. Good job. So Molly, how do you think you did on your math test? I don't know, I thought I was doing really good, but now that the test is over, I feel like maybe I made mistakes. Did you study? You probably didn't, right? No, I stayed up really late till like three o'clock in the morning studying. Oh my gosh, Molly, how are you even standing right now? I don't know, I'm just tired and I'm worried. Well, turn that frown upside down because today is pizza day. Wow. My stomach's kind of upset. I don't think I'm gonna eat pizza. What? But you love pizza day. I'm too nervous about this test. Why is this test in particular so worrisome to you, Molly? Because my mom said that if we passed the test, my sister and I could get iPhones. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's like an amazing prize for, for doing really well on your test. No wonder you're nervous. Yeah, and even lunch lady Marge can't even change that. Even with her most delicious pizza. Molly, I think I did amazing. I'm gonna get an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an iPhone, but I'm just a little nervous because, I don't know, math is hard for me. Molly, are you sure that you don't want a piece of pizza? No, I can't eat anything right now. My stomach's too upset. Too worried I, pa I passed that test. Um, Daisy, what are you doing? I'm writing down all the accessories I'm gonna get with my new iPhone. Huh, I'm just wondering if I'm gonna get the iPhone. Molly, you studied half the night. I'm sure you did really well on the test. Don't worry. Thanks, Brookie. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, lunch is over. Time to find out the test results. I'm excited and nervous, but I did finish the test really quickly, so I think I did pretty good. I hope I have to get at least a 70 on it to pass and get my new iPhone. Well, boys and girls, I'm pretty pleased with the test results, but I have a few of you that failed. So I hope you can study harder next time. Molly, here's your test. Great job, Daisy, a 92. I'm getting an iPhone! Molly, how'd you do? A 68. Points away from my iPhone? Excuse me, Mr. Jared, I think this must be a mistake. No, Molly, you failed, fair and square. Oh, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to get an iPhone, and I'm gonna like it. Oh, man, maybe Mom will just look over those two points and say, well, it's not that big a deal. Hey, girls. Ugh, the vacuum got clogged again. Ugh. You are? Wait, did you get your test results today? Yeah, and I passed, Mom, so I get an iPhone. Do -de -do 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 -do. How about you, Molly? How'd you do? Um, I did okay. Yeah, fine, I guess, but don't worry. I, I, I don't need to show you my test. Molly, show me the test, please. She failed! Daisy! Sorry, but it's the truth, Molly. But mom, it's only two points, I got a 68. Molly, the requirement was you passed a 70. But mom! Sorry, Molly, I made the rules. No iPhone. Oh, that's not fair, Daisy gets everything! I worked so hard, that's not fair! Oh! See you next, Melvin. This iPhone has so many features, I can't even believe it! It's amazing, Molly. Uh-huh. You should see the photos that this thing takes. Uh-huh. Molly, it is so cool. Uh-huh. Could you be quiet about the iPhone? It's dumb anyway. Who wants that phone? Not me. I don't want an iPhone. I wouldn't want an iPhone if it was the last phone at the AT&T store. You're just jealous. Whatever. I don't, ugh, I don't, I don't even need that phone.
phone. It's dumb, and I don't. I don't need a phone. Who needs a phone? I could just call my friends on the on the. I don't know. I could just walk to their house. Yeah, that's it. Get good exercise. Yeah. And then I don't have to waste my time studying for math tests that I fail anyway. Well, I have to get going to dance class. But I'm going to leave my phone here to let it charge. Because, you know, I was too excited when I got it. I didn't let it charge all the way. Oh, have you she's, Have you left yet? Molly, you're being so rude. I get that you're jealous and stuff. But maybe next time, study a little bit longer. Don't just, like, cram at the last minute. I'm sure you could figure it out how to get an iPhone. You're really smart when you want something, Molly. Well, I... I didn't think of it that way. Is that her iPhone over there? <laughs> when I want something, I can just take it. But that wouldn't be really nice because even though I'm like super annoyed that my sister got an iPhone, if I take hers, then I'm just gonna like get caught and get in trouble and that doesn't really solve the problem that I want a new iPhone for myself. How can I solve this? Hmm. Maybe I won't steal her phone. Maybe I'll go talk to Mr. Jared. Mr. Jared! Mr. Jared, you're still here! Molly, what are you doing here? I didn't give you detention for a change. No, I, I need to talk to you. Um, whenever you're done writing that gibberish on the board. Oh, I can't figure out this math equation. My brain just isn't what it used to be. What is it, Molly? Well, you see, I, I stayed up till 3 a.m. studying for your math test. Seriously? You've never done that before. I know, and I still got a 68, and I I guess I'm just asking for help, because I, I thought I knew what I was doing on problems 3, 7, 6, and number 4. Okay, I said those out of order, but you know what I'm saying! And and I, I don't know what I did wrong. Could you help me? Of course, Molly! This is a great step in the right direction for you. Before you just even care about studying or what grade you got, what's the motivation? Well... First, it was that I wanted this new iPhone that my mom said I could have if I got a good grade, but now I just feel like an ignoramus because I thought I was studying everything right, but I guess I was doing everything wrong. Okay, go take a seat at the desk and I'll explain what you did wrong in those, pro in those problems. Okay, so with number four, you see, if you had just divided the number instead of multiplied it, you would have gotten the correct answer. Oh! All right, so go ahead and take out your pencil and correct what you did wrong on the test there. Okay, um, and now number six makes sense to me too because I just had that one part of the equation um, and I was doing it wrong. Exactly, Molly. See, you're not an ignoramus and because you showed so much effort, I'm going to give you a passing grade. What? Are you serious? No, I can't give you like a hundred or anything because you still got them wrong. But I think an 80% is very fair in this case. You showed a lot of effort, Molly. I'm proud of you. Oh my gosh. Could you put that in writing, Mr. Jared? Please just put that in writing right here. Um, sure, Molly. N no problem. I can't wait to show my mom. She's going to be so proud of me. I bet she will, Molly. I'm very proud of you too. Mom! 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 Molly, where have you been? Oh my gosh. was starting to get worried. I knew you were a little angry and jealous of your sister getting an iPhone. Mom, I think I might have actually did the right thing. Wait, what? I went back to school. Wait, you went back to school? Did you have detention? No, I, well, went back and asked for extra help on the problems I didn't understand that I failed on my test. You did? Are you serious, Molly? Totally! At first it was just because I was angry that I didn't get my iPhone, but then I just feel like an ignoramus that I didn't know the answers. Oh, Molly, you're not an ignoramus. Everybody has trouble in some subjects, and it's okay to ask for extra help. Well, when I got it all figured out what I had done wrong, it was a simple mistake. Mr. Jared said that I showed so much progress and so much effort that he changed my grade. Wait, what? Yeah, he even wrote you a little note here so that you knew it was true. Oh my gosh, Molly. He changed your grade from a 68 to an 80. Do you know what that means? That I'm not as dumb as I thought I was in math? Molly, you've never been dumb. You're very smart when you apply yourself and study and work hard. But since you did all of the right things and got an 80%, you get an iPhone. Are you serious? Oh my God, I think my face is gonna stick this way. I'm so happy and excited right now. I'm getting an iPhone, I'm getting an iPhone, and I didn't even have to steal it from Daisy. What, what are you talking about? Nothing, can we go right now to AT&T and get it? Sure we can, Molly. 
I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of me too. Is it morning already? Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day! Honey, why are you awake so early? Because I'm so excited! They are going to give someone a promotion at work! And I've been doing so good! I just know it's me! I'm gonna get a better job! And I'm gonna make so much more money! Well, what happens if you don't get the job? Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence! I'm just saying, honey, don't get your hopes too high up. Sometimes you don't always get what you want. Yeah, but I've been working so hard. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. And when it does, we're going on a family vacation this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up the girls because I need to make sure I'm at work on time today. I better wake up Molly because she always has trouble getting out of bed and I literally cannot be late for work today. Molly. <sighs> Mom, Molly, did she just get up and run around her bed and then go right back to sleep? <sighs> Molly, I'm telling you, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. You need to get up or I'm going to be late and I cannot be late. Okay, Mom, I can hear you. I will absolutely get out of bed. Maybe. All right, time to wake up Daisy. I'm about to wake Mom and doing my aerobics and I'm just getting some cardio this morning. Okay, great, Daisy. Well, I have a really important day at work and I can't wait because I think I'm going to get a promotion. Good job, Mom. Congratulations. Have a good day, honey. I'll see you after work. Good luck with your job promotion. Thank you. What should I wear? I mean, today's such an important day. I have to look amazing. These are my most favorite scrubs. They're kind of like good luck for me. <laughs> and, well, I think today is going to be a fantastic day. Molly, the bus is here. See you after school, girls. Have a great day. Well, lo and behold, my sister is late for school again. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, everybody, good morning. Just making a snap to show you my face and say, I'm still here and I'm ready to have a great day. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't want to miss the school bus. Is that Molly snoring? Well, it's not Daisy. She ran out the front door. Molly! Huh? What? What? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Molly, you were supposed to be up 30 minutes ago while on the school bus with your sister. What are you still in bed for? Uh, um, I accidentally fell back asleep. Molly! Ah! Uh, I have my job promotion today. Well, correction. I might not actually get the promotion, but... Ah! Uh, get in the car! But I didn't brush my teeth yet. Brush them at school. I didn't eat breakfast. I don't know. I eat lunch when you get to school. But lunch isn't breakfast and I'll be hungry. Molly, I cannot be late for work today. Hurry, Molly, get in. Oh, no. I forgot my homework. Are you serious? Yeah, and if I don't go get it, I'm going to get detention. You don't want that, do you? Oh, Molly, hurry. Oh, no, oh, no. I don't want to be late for my promotion. Oh, this kid always makes me late for work. Ah! Now, where did I put my homework? The last time I had it, I was getting a snack out of the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, did I leave it in there? No, but ooh, leftover pizza. Mm, delicious. OMG, what is taking her so long? Molly! What? Ah! Uh, Molly! Oh my God, did you find your homework? Um, uh, Molly, it's up in your room. Take the pizza to go. Sorry, Mom. I bet you are. You're always sorry when you make me late for work, but today is kind of important. Come on, Molly. Coming. Oh, no. I forgot my teddy bear. What? Your teddy bear? What do you need a teddy bear for? Um, It was bring your teddy bear to school day. Mom, oh, Mom, you're being kind of crazy with your driving right now. You'll have to take your teddy bear to school some other time. I cannot be late for this job promotion. Mom, stop saying. Whoopsie. <laughs> I totally paused. Mom, do you even know the way to my school? Yes, I know the way to your school. Hey, there's Daisy. Hey, get out. Mom, get out. 
You just ran into the building. <laughs> um, yeah, my driving isn't that good this morning because I'm in a hurry. Bruh. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, no, my car Bruh. is stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Molly, what have you been doing? What were you doing? You just got here. No, Molly, I didn't. I actually took the trash out for the teacher. Ugh, you're such a goody two-shoes. Whoa, I drove right past the hospital. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit nervous? Good morning, Susie. Oh, good morning, Laura. You're late again. Oh, I know, but uh, my daughter, she's just... You better go in and see him. He's waiting for you in his office. Oh my gosh, here we go. I bet he's going to give me the promotion. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, Laura. Oh, good morning, Mr. Glenn. I'm so glad you called me into your office. I'm really excited this morning. And very late. Uh oh, sorry about that. <laughs> my daughter, Molly, she's, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, but she's a good kid. She, she, she is a good kid. Uh-huh. Yes, um, but here at this job, we have expectations. Yes, and I always meet the expectations with the patients. Uh-huh, so I have something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I, I agree, and I'm really excited. You are? Yeah, this is going to be an amazing opportunity. Um, yeah, starting over it can be an opportunity. Yep, a new position. Uh-huh. Well, we're going to miss you here at the hospital. Huh? Miss me at the hospital? Wait, does this promotion mean I'm going to be working at a different location? No. What promotion? I'm not giving you a promotion. Wait, weren't we just talking about the promotion? I was going to be making an extra $50 an hour. No, you're not getting a promotion. You're getting fired. Wait, what? F -f 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 fired I've been working at this job for years, sir. Why am I getting fired? I don't understand. You've been late every single day for almost a month. That's because my daughter Molly, she never gets to the bus on time. I always have to drive her to school. Well, whatever the reason, we need somebody who's dependable here for this job position. So we are, well, firing you. Firing me? F -f 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 firing me? Did they take the picture? Do they post it on the news? Wow, must have been mind blowing. <laughs> Honey, are are you okay? <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, what's going on? You're freaking me out right now. I, I, I got fired. Wait. What? You got fired? For what? You've been at that job forever! Plus, we need that money to help pay our bills. I... I was late again. Wait, why? Because Molly didn't get out of bed like I asked her to when I had to drive her to school. That's it. She's grounded for the rest of her life. I... I don't know what I'll do. I've always worked at the hospital. I love working at the hospital. And now I'm fired! <laughs> okay, honey. It's okay, don't don't cry. You're a very smart woman. You could get a job anywhere, and there's lots of businesses here. Tomorrow morning, you can start off looking for a new job. I'm sure you'll find something amazing. I, I hope so. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. I'm just making this Snapchat because... I had a terrible day yesterday. I got fired from my job, but as you can see, I'm still smiling right now because today is a new day. It's actually so early in the day that um, the sun hasn't even come up yet, but I'm determined to find a new career today. So guys, wish me luck. Well, here goes nothing. I think I saw that the bank was hiring. Yeah, totally on my list. All right, let's go over to the bank and see if I can get a job there. That'd be a really good job to have. Good morning, welcome to Keep Safe Bank. How can I help you today? Oh, hi, uh, I saw that you were interviewing for new new um, bank tellers. Oh yes, come right into my little office here. <laughs> Nothing fancy at the bank, except for all the money, that's pretty fancy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty good with money actually. I have so much in my savings account because uh, I had a steady job for 10 years. I mean, steady as can be. 
Oh, that's good to hear. You sound reliable. Um, do you have any banking um, experience? Uh, yes, I go in every Friday to cash my check. Oh, I meant like, have you worked in banking? Did you go to college for it? Uh, no. Well, what did you do for 10 years then? I worked at the hospital. Oh, sorry, hospitals and banks are a lot different. Can't work here. Oh, okay, thank you for your time, bye. Hopefully you'll get another check though so you can come back on Friday. Uh, no, I can't, I got fired. Whoa, harsh, well, good luck with the job search. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay. It's just one job that I didn't get. I'm sure I can find something else. According to my list, Paw Palace is hiring. They have rare exotic pets. Do they call hamsters rare and exotic? I could totally do this job. Love hamsters and dogs and cats. Welcome. Please wait for the staff. Okay, well, are you staff? Yes, but we have to say that because sometimes our animals get a little crazy and they think they can talk to them. <laughs> oh, very funny. Hey, I'm looking for a job. This seems like a great place to me. Whoa. <laughs> What's that over there? Lady, if you've never seen a monkey before, you probably shouldn't be working here. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say what's that. I knew it was a monkey, but you guys have a pet monkey? Yeah, he's so crazy. Sometimes he likes to throw poo-poo at the customers. <laughs> You're so funny. No, for real. Watch out. What? Ew, we landed on my head. Sorry about that. I told you the monkey was kind of crazy. OMG. Ew, why is it blue? This monkey loves blueberries. <laughs> you get it? What? Um, yeah, I don't want to work here. But you'd be great at the job. He loves you. No, thank you. Oh, this job search is not going so well. Park is hiring and, well, I need to work somewhere. Now, where is the manager? Yo, what's up? You looking for a job? Ugh, I'm a little frazzled right now, but hey, why you gotta poop on your head? Oh, no, I forgot to wipe that off. Excuse me. I'll just use my phone like a mirror. That way I can see it. And oh my God, I'm on Snap. And I just sent it to everybody. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie, having the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you? I was just doing a little maintenance on one of the pieces of uh, amusement park ride equipment and um, things didn't go quite as I planned. So, um, do you have any uh, experience? Uh, no, I'm not really into amusement parks, but I'm super smart and um, I'm sure I can do this. Okay, well, we have one rule before you get hired here. Okay, I'm sure I can meet it. What is it? You actually have to ride the rides to make sure that you're excited about the job. What? What? Why? Because we're all about bringing fun to everyone here. And if you're not having fun, our customers won't be having fun. <gasps> Go ahead, get on the roller coaster. Um, I'm not really a big roller coaster person. I hope you didn't just say that, because you're not going to get hired. Okay, fine. I'll get on the roller coaster. Fine. Enjoy your ride. It's probably going to be super fun and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure will be if you really like <laughs> roller coasters. Yep. Oh boy. Okay, just try not to lose your lunch, Laura. Keep from throwing up. Nope, I'm definitely gonna. Oh no. Yeah, you can't work here. Well, at least get me off of here. Sorry, it's a 10 minute ride. Ah! Just kidding. Get off the ride. Also, you're not a good candidate. Oh, I think I might have left some throw up in your car. That's all right. I'll take care of it. Sorry. God, I'm out of job options. We're gonna be homeless. Oh. Well, I guess there's only one choice left. Hey, what can I get for you? <laughs> McDonald's, by the way. Oh, hi. Um, can I speak to your manager, please? Why? What happened? Did you get like, um, like a rat in your French fries or something? <laughs> what? No. I just am looking for a job. I need the manager. I want to speak to them about getting a job. Well, you're speaking to the manager. What? You're like 16 years old. You still have a bunch of pimples. How can you be the manager? Well, I'll get used to it, lady, because you'd be working for me if you want a job at McDonald's. Ow! Ugh. 
Seriously, I'm working for a teenager? Ah! So do you want the job or not? We're a bit short-handed and I could use somebody right now. drive through is getting crazy. Well, I guess so. I need a job and it's better than being homeless. Well, come on back here. I'll get you a uniform. Don't forget to say welcome to McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> when is this uniform what they wear at McDonald's? Oh, we just got that updated uh, about a week ago. <laughs> you look awesome. And a little bit old in that uh, Happy Meal <laughs> hat. I mean, what are you, like 50? What? No, I'm not 50. Well, like I'm just saying, you're not like 15 or 16. No, I'm not. I should be the manager of this place. Okay, here's the drive through window. Make sure you're polite, you say hello. You didn't do that. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm the manager. I get to do what I want. Uh, Take a look around the place, though. Make sure you know what everything, where everything is. I see that. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't believe I'm working at McDonald's drive through How embarrassing that I'm a grown-up and having to wear this silly hat. Dad, I really want to have a Happy Meal. Okay, Molly, okay. And Dad, also, what's going on with your stash? I mean, that's new. Just trying something different. It looks like you have a caterpillar on your upper lip. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Mom? What are you doing? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Actually, I would be really careful what you say to your mom because you're kind of the reason why she's working here. And what? Why are you working at McDonald's? I couldn't get any other job. And I didn't want us to be homeless. Oh, honey. I'm sure something else will come along, but for now, you do look pretty cute in that Happy Meal hat. Oh. Oh, I feel so dumb! Okay, well, um, anyway, enough talking. Come on, do your job. What? Yeah, uh, Molly wants a Happy Meal, and I would like a Big Mac meal, please. Okay, fine. We love you, honey. Have a good shift. Yeah, thank you. Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. I can't believe I'm actually making this Snapchat right now. So I'm su super embarrassed by this, but I'm wearing a Happy Meal on my head. It even has two chicken nuggets on the sides and fries <coughs> on the back. I feel ridiculous. Please just say something nice to me so that I feel better because I'm having a terrible day. Okay, bye. Oh, yay. Another customer. Okay, just try to be friendly, Laura, even though you hate your life right now. Hello? Are you gonna take my order? Um, yes, but could you get a little closer to the window? It's it's really far away. I'm not gonna be able to hand you your food like that, please. Oh, how rude. I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Uh, well, I, I can't reach you from all the way over there, and I want to be able to hand you your food. Like, you know, I don't want to drop your chicken nuggets on the ground. Fine, I'll back up. It is <gasps> McDonald's cheese. Um, okay. <sighs> breathe, 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 okay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Um, what can I get for you today? How about a better attitude? I mean, every time I come through here, there's somebody that's grumpy. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with french fries and, um, a Coke. Okay, um, sure. Um, that would be $35. What? $35? When did the prices at McDonald's go so high? Um, about four years ago or so. Oh, I can't believe this. McDonald's isn't even like what I really wanted. Well, you could always go to Burger King across the street. Just give me my order. Okay, fine. Bacon, is the order up yet? No, I was busy making a Snapchat. Okay, yeah, but this lady, she really wants her food, and I really want her gone. She's really miserable. Hey, listen, Happy Meal Head, I'll get it done when I get it done. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, your order is taking a little longer than normal. Could you please pull up? What? You want me to pull up? Ugh, this is so annoying. Sorry, uh, it's just you, we're making your food really fresh. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, make that food! Was this what you ordered? Oh, we don't even serve popcorn here. What are you doing? Oh, you think that you're the manager or something? No, but I should be. This is ridiculous! Okay, I 
can't wait till this lady goes away. She seems really grumpy. Okay, where did she park? Oh wait, there she is. She's still at the order window. What's she doing? Hey, I didn't feel like pulling forward. Oh, okay, well, here's all your meal and um, you have a wonderful day. Yay! Thank you. This food better be fresh. It is, bye! Ugh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I have to work here. This is like the worst day of my life. Bacon? Get rid of, get with it. You were supposed to make the food. Uh, we have a customer and you're yelling at the manager. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, this girl who's yelling at you, she didn't even give me any napkins. That's <gasps> true, I gave you three napkins. Well, I wanted five. Okay, but you're only one person. How many napkins do you need? Are you the biggest slob in the world? Uh oh Whoa, um, sorry lady, but obviously you don't understand how to be a good McDonald's, you know, employee and teammate. You're fired. Wait, what? I got fired from McDonald's? I just get to take a happy meal home, I'm hungry. You said I got a free meal on my lunch break. No. What? I want my happy meal! Oh. Oh. This is the worst day ever. Ew, what's that horrible smell? I don't know, I think it smells good. Oh, it's just your mom. Yeah, it's just your mom smelling like greasy french fries. Mm, greasy french fries? Mom, I think you should work there every single day for the rest of your life. Well, that's impossible since I got fired. What? Oh, look, it's Daisy and Luke in the car together. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? What? No. Everybody knows that Luke likes me, not my sister. Well, they're pulling up to the pizzeria together, Molly, so. <gasps> so, so what? Uh, Daisy probably just gave him a ride. Hey guys, what's up? I, uh, Luke just texted me and said he needed a ride. <laughs> See, told you. Would've been nice if he gave me a ride. Sorry, Molly, you were going over to pick up Pookie. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Luke, <laughs> what's up? Not much, uh, Daisy just gave me a ride because she's really, <laughs> I mean, really nice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you. So, um, we're gonna go get pizza? Yeah, I thought so. Rosa Pizza is like the best. Except for if you count going to Chuck E. Cheese. What? Chuck E. Cheese? I haven't been there since I was like baby, a baby or something. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time we went, we were like three or four years old. I totally want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. It's so fun there. And a little bit creepy. Chuck E. is like something from my worst nightmares. Wrong Chuck E. Molly. Nope, 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 nope. I'm talking about Chuck E. Cheese. The giant creepy rat. Seriously? You're afraid of a giant mouse? Yeah, he is kind of creepy. Well, maybe he took the day off. I'm gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese and play some games and eat pizza. Yeah, me too. Let's see if we can all stuff inside my car. I don't know, Daisy, your car is really small, but we might be able to all fit in here. I get shotgun. See, we all fit. Just goes kind of slow because Molly ate too many cupcakes for lunch. What? Okay, I can't even deny that one. I probably did eat too many cupcakes for lunch. Chuck E. Cheese is so much fun! Daisy, way to run every single red light in the entire game. Uh, I didn't run that one. It was green. Yeah, but you just ran that one. Daisy, you just drove right by it. I'm parking in the back. Chill out. Does anybody else notice that Molly and Daisy fight a lot? It's probably because they're sisters. Definitely the most annoying sister. Whoa, Chuck E. Cheese got a makeover. Yeah, no creepy animatronics or anything. <gasps> yeah, just so many cool games. <laughs> Some of my favorites are, I'm gonna snap this because I just feel like um, people might not know that our town has such an awesome Chuck E. Cheese right now. Hey guys, there's my BFF, Brookie. There's my annoying sister, Daisy. Hey, Molly Boot. And there is my um, friend, yeah, friend, Luke. And we are at the new and improved Chuck E. Cheese. Look at this. This looks amazing. They have air hockey, they have bowling. Hey, Molly, they've got your favorite crane game. What? Okay, I gotta finish this Snapchat, guys, because I'm gonna go play crane game with um, Luke. Okay, bye. Hey, Molly, did you know that if you stick your arm up inside the crane game, um, you can actually just like take a toy out of there? What? That's cheating. I know. I would never do it because you know I'm not a thief. But 
I just think it's kind of cool that you could actually do it. One time I watched this kid like crawl up in there and he got all the toys. And then he took a nap inside. You're making that up! No, I'm not. I'm being serious. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Well, um, I'll be right back because I'm gonna go get a soda, but then we can play Korean game. Do you want a soda too, Luke? Sure, that would be great. I'd love one. Okay. Be right back. He really likes me. <gasps> Well, we're just waiting on the waiter or waitress to come take our order because I'm starving and I want something to eat. Yeah, Luke's waiting to play crane game with me, but I want some soda too. Oh, I can't wait to snap this. Oh, I look so cute today. Hey, everyone. Just looking adorable at my job. Excuse me, but not to be rude, but we're really hungry and we want something to drink. Can you please take our order? Yeah, and our friend Luke over there definitely wants something to drink and eat too. Wait a minute. There were ten toys in that crane game, and now there's only nine. Whoa, but friend Luke must have won one. No, there was no more money put into it because every time money gets put in, we get like a little signal on our phones that tells us that. Whoa, really? Yeah, it shows us every time we make a sale at Chuck E. Cheese, and I didn't get one. So, did your friend just steal from the crane game? Well, I just heard him say that you could stick your arm up in there and get a free toy. Um, Daisy, I'm not sure we should tell her that. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. What? No, put away your phone! He didn't do it! He's innocent! Mm -hmm. Let's just let the police decide whether he stole a toy or not. Lady, why are you being so rude to my boyfriend? <gasps> your Ow. boyfriend? Who said it was your boyfriend? Oh no. Are you guys gonna fight over Luke? I mean, your sister's first, and then your friends with Luke second. Well, there's no fighting. He's my boyfriend. He's actually neither of your boyfriends. Well, I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Luke! Luke, they're about to call the cops! Wait, what? Why? Did Chuck E. Cheese come back? Has he gone crazy like you said? No, there's a toy missing from the crane game. And no money got put in. There was supposed to be ten toys, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two missing toys. Well, I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody, and you were the only one standing here. Are you accusing me of stealing those toys? <gasps> I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, no, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying that the police are coming. Uh-oh. I think you're innocent, though. Well, I'm sure it's just all a misunderstanding. Where's the criminal? I'm gonna take him down. What? There's no criminal here. Actually, someone stole two toys from the crane game. And I looked at the surveillance footage and you were the only ones. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he took it. Yeah. Maybe he's very good at being a thief. Is this the first time you've stolen from a crane game? <gasps> or are you a serial crane game thief? Uh-oh. Um, I don't even know if that's a real sentence you just said, but... Maddie... Don't talk to the police like that. You'll be arrested next. Well, I'll be hauling you off to jail now. Wait, what? You can't take him. He's he's my friend. Yeah, and he's going to stay here, lady. It's okay, Molly. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah, you'll be out in no time. I just know it. Mm -hmm. Sure you will. That's what all the criminals say. Come on, let's go. Hey, you, there, in my bed. Huh? What? Ugh, you're in the wrong jail cell. This is my room. No! Jail cell number one is mine! This is only my third time in here, and I always am in number one. Oh, sorry. Did you just get taller? No, I was just squatting down, so I didn't want to make you feel as bad. But now, since you're just trying to steal my bed, I just gonna have to beat you up what no i i i'm not like a, a criminal i i they said i stole two toys from the crane machine at, at chuck e cheese but i didn't do it really oh, gosh. you're a bad guy um not really because i didn't actually do it what are you in here for and what's your name hey i'm fred my reason for being in here this time is that well stole a pacifier from Target. Seriously? Dude, you're like 40. You don't need a pacifier anymore. No, it's for this kid that was crying in the one aisle over. I 
felt sorry for it, and also it was really loud. So I went to give it a pacifier. But of course, I don't know what a pacifier. Um, Fred? Are those bunny slippers? Yeah, of course they are. I'm about to go to bed, duh. Now get out of my jail cell. Um, I would, but I can't open the door. Well, then I guess you gotta sleep on the top bunk. Okay. Hope we can be friends, Fred. Don't count on it, kid. So, uh, boss, why'd you want to see us in your jail cell? Yeah, wow. I've got a new idea to get on out of here. Oh, boss, you're so smart. I hope this time we get out of jail for real. Yeah, so we can rob some more banks. Okay, boys. First, change my diaper. Boss, uh, I don't think so. Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I was just messing with ya. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, boss, you're so funny. <laughs> well, laugh. <laughs> you're our funny boss. When I say laugh, I mean laugh. When I say break me out of jail, I mean break me out of jail. I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys. Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza. Mm, this pizza is really good. Yeah, really good. Molly, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Molly, you're eating ale. There's no pizza in your hand. Oh, yeah. I guess I wasn't very hungry. Molly, what's going on? I found out today on Snapchat that Luke has been sent to a max security all boys prison. What? Yeah, we can't even go visit him because we're girls. Oh, but gee, Molly, how long they be there for? I don't know, Daisy. I, I think probably ten years for stealing those two toys from Chuck E. Cheese. What? Whoa, five years for each toy, and the things were only worth about fifty cents. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, but if you do the crime, you do the time. Except for Luke didn't do anything. I don't know how those toys disappeared. Maybe they just counted wrong. My friend, he's not a thief. I know, Molly, I know. But there's not much we could do. I know. Oh, this is terrible. Who's going to play Roblox with me? I will, Molly. But you're my annoying sister. I want Luke. Yeah. Molly, I know you have a crush on him. What? Don't say that. He's just my friend and I miss him. I know, I miss him too. Breaking news, breaking news. Little Nikki is back in prison. Oh my gosh, that guy will never stop. Yeah, and he's not even five years old yet. Think about the criminal, Sarah, that he's gonna be when he's like 15 or 20. Yeah, he's the biggest criminal we have in this town. Whoa, little Nikki is back in prison? Wait a minute. That gives me a great idea. Molly, I don't like when you have great ideas. They end up really bad ideas. If they're gonna put Luke in an all-boys prison, then they're gonna have to lock me up too. Uh, Molly, you a girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Molly, where are you going? <coughs> Outfit change. Molly, you're gonna get dressed up? But Luke's not even here to take you out on a date. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Hey, everybody, it's me, Molly. I'm doing this last Snapchat because I don't know if I'm going to return from this mission. But if I do, guys, you can guarantee that I'm going to have my friend Luke with me. And then he might ask me to dance, so I'm extra excited about that. Okay, guys, I hope I see you soon. Bye. <laughs> well, what do you think? Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look like little Nikki. Yeah, I'm Little Nikki's twin. <laughs> this wig is awesome. Uh, Molly, I don't know if they're gonna believe it. And why do you want to pretend you're his twin? Because how do they know who did the crime? Little Nikki or Molly Nikki? <laughs> I guess they wouldn't know. And that means they'd have to put you in the prison. That's right. So I get to see Luke and hopefully break him out of there. Molly, when I said that your ideas were bad ones, I really meant it. You might get locked up forever. To help my friend, it'd be worth it. Molly, don't leave. Don't worry, Roblox wouldn't let me. It actually made me chill on the couch. <laughs> I hate when Roblox does that. Yeah, well, now I'm actually leaving. Bum, bum, bum.
Time to use my phone to teleport. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually teleport in real life? <laughs> yeah. That would save a lot of car accidents. <laughs> Alright, guys. Here we go. I'm about to save my best friend. Actually, sorry. Uh, Brookie, are you watching this? Yes! Did you just call Luke your best friend? Ow. See, I mean, you're my best friend, Brookie, and Luke is my soon-to-be <gasps> boyfriend. Yeah. Ooh la la! <coughs> Hi there! Whoa! Little Nikki, how'd you get out? Wait a minute, you're not little Nikki. You're way too tall to be little Nikki. Haha, <laughs> that's because I'm little Nikki's twin! Uh -oh. Little Vicky! Little Vicky? Yeah, as in Victor, Vicky, Victor. I didn't know he had a twin brother. Wait, how are you so much taller than he is if you're twins? I had a growth spurt, duh. All kids grow at different rates, duh. Huh. Are you supposed to be smart, bacon hair? Actually, no, I'm kind of a noob. Uh, okay. Well, do you need to lock me up? Um, why? Because how do you know which twin actually did the crime? Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you been helping your brother rob Ben? Absolutely. You have the right to remain silent. You're going to jail. Perfect. Really? You're that excited about it? Wow, you're kind of messed up. Well, you know what they say. Three hots and a cot. Place to sleep and a place to eat. Sounds good to me. Hi, free. Now, do you serve pizza? No. Uh-oh. Only have gruel three times a day. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll learn to love it. You'll be in cell number one. Luke! Little Nikki? Wait, did you have a growth spurt? I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever look at you the wrong way ever again. Um, yeah, um, what? I promise, don't give me any more swirlies in the toilet. Yeah. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally gonna have a little bit of, uh, just trauma from that one, huh? <laughs> Luke, it's not little Nikki. It's, uh, little Vicky. <laughs> Wait, there's two of you? <laughs> uh, no. Luke, it's me. I uh, know. Oh, please. Um, okay, I'm sleeping. Just ignore me. I'm not even here. Luke, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? What? Molly? Yeah, I'm wearing a wig and some fake muscles and this ridiculous outfit and I don't know... Why I keep just... This game is so glitchy! Ah! Don't you know I'm trying to make a role play? Uh, Molly, um, can we get back to the story? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so I'm a little Vicky, but I'm actually Molly, and I, I went undercover to get you out of here. Wait. You snuck into an all-boys prison? Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you, Luke. Only for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, that was a nice thing to say. Well, I guess we're going to get to know each other better since we're roomies now. Yeah, except for this wig is really itchy. Ugh. Okay, everybody. You have the right to remain silent. Who is this clown? He's just one of little Nikki's, well, cronies. Wait, little Nikki? I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'll do better next time. Uh -oh. Yeah, you better. You better get me and my friend Luke out of here tonight. Okay, well, I got a job in the tools section, so finally they trust me enough. They don't know that I'm one of your cronies. Did you hear that, Luke? He works in the tools section at the gym. This means he's going to get us out of here. I don't know. That guy's kind of, well, ignoramus. Well, it doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. He's getting us out of here. They lock the doors after 8 p.m. There's no leaving or going from the jail cells. Don't worry. I have a feeling that my crony will figure this out. Wow, you're actually kind of like little Nikki, only cuter. Oh, even in this ugly wig. Absolutely, Molly. <laughs> that was a nice thing to say. Hey, if we get out of here, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? Um, uh... I mean, you don't have to. Yes, I'll go to the dance with you, sure! Okay, I didn't think you were going to be that excited about it. Well, I will be excited about anything if I can get out of here. Um, it's kind of bad, but I have to go to the bathroom. What? No, you're going to have to hold it. But I had a taco for lunch. <laughs> Molly. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're stuck in the same room, so um, didn't mean to gas you out. Psst, guys, come on. <gasps> I broke the lock. <laughs> Perfect, crony. Let's get out of here. 
things, but you have a way out, right? Sure do. Watch this. What? Freedom! Come on, Luke. We're out of here. You sure this is a good idea, Molly? Yeah. Now we have to figure out how to prove your innocence. Should we steal that police car? No, then we go back to jail for that. We just need to go to Chuck E. Cheese and try to figure out how to get you out of this. And uh, I probably should change out of this outfit. And you should change out of that one. We look pretty obvious. Uh, Luke, are you going undercover like that? Mamma mia! Boy, are you going undercover like that? Your dress is a giant burrito! I know, I was so hungry that this is what I picked because I'm, like, really hungry. The jail doesn't even feed you. Molly, you were there for, like, two hours. Yeah, I know, but I was expecting they give me pizza for dinner. It's jail! Exactly, it's jail! You don't get fed there! They just feed you gruel, and and if you can catch a mouse, you could probably eat that. Yeah. Ew, gross! Now, come on, Luke. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, Molly. Hopefully we can prove my innocence. Yeah, and then we can go get bean burritos. I'm starving. Oh, Molly. You're always thinking of your stomach. Very true. Very true. <laughs>
No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Buddy, there's only three colors. We must have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's gonna get expelled. Bam, bam, bam! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some, some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm gonna look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I gotta get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa, we all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on, let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh my God, Sarah. You you wore your Billie Eilish shirt. But, but, but today's rainbow day. And if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> you losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today is not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is Rainbow Day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as Rainbow Day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but, but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room, they, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding and also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up rainbow day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about. But I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But the only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on Rainbow Day. What the? I, I. You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but. I have no choice. It's the rules on Rainbow Day. Ah, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Ah. I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. 
Well, it must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true.